good at a homeless shelter. But I understand how kindness can impact a dish. This is all my fault. I would take a zell for steak and caviar if I could. I hadn't lost my job. I wish I could have somehow prevented this. Don't worry, Dad. I'm sure you'll find another job soon. But in the meantime, we're gonna eat some great stew. Besides, I never like caviar. You know that. I love you no matter what. And this is not your fault. You're a good man and you didn't deserve to be fired. That company never deserved a good man like you anyways. You're gonna find something great soon. I just know it. Thanks, you two. I really don't know what the heck I would do without all your love and support. And I am grateful every day that I have such wonderful people in my life right beside me. I love you both so much. We love you too, Dad. Hey, I know you. I know all of you. You do? From where? Forgive us, but we don't seem to remember who you are. Oh, you wouldn't know me. I'm just a lowly nobody. But you, you're none other than the royal family of Brookhaven. I think you're mistaken there, buddy. We're just a regular family from Brookhaven that's been down on our luck lately. No, no, don't deny it. I see that royal glimmer in your eye. And your features, it's undeniable. For the royal family, you should be ruling this town. We're not scraping to get by. Well, uh, that's nice of you to say. Have a great day. All right, you too, your highness. Wow. Wow, I wonder why he thinks we're royals. I don't know. He must have gotten us mixed up with other people who look like us. Yes, he's just confused. Come on, let's get our food. The next day. He said you were what now? Who? He said we were the royal family of Brookhaven. I didn't even know Brookhaven had a royal family. Did you? I think I have a vague recollection of something like that. But I can't tell if it was from a dream or from reality. Wouldn't it be cool if he was actually somehow right about it? Me and my family were actually the royal family? Then we would never be poor again. Uh, that would be amazing. And I would like totally come and chill at your palace all the time. And like try on your royal jewels and dresses and stuff. <laughs> okay, I know this is a long shot, but will you come to the library after school with me today so we can research all of this? I need to know if there's any truth behind his claim. Three hours later. Excuse me, Mrs. Librarian, ma'am. Where would we find the books on local history? In the back. Over there. Thank you, Mrs. Librarian Lady, ma'am. Yeah, thanks, Librarian Lady. Here, check out this book, The Royal Pass of Brookhaven. Whoa, so it is true. There's a royal family of Brookhaven. Yeah, I guess so. Wait a minute, Mackenzie, look at this picture. It's the Queen of Brookhaven from 200 years ago, but she looks just like you. Check it out. Whoa, it looks just like me, but like an old-timey costume or something. What a coincidence. No, don't you see this? Would be. But how would my family not know about this? Well, maybe the royal family stopped ruling at a certain point and decided to just be normal. Hmm, yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, we do live in a democracy after all. Exactly. Okay, I know what we have to do. Follow me. Huh? Where are we going? Oh, you'll see. A few moments later. Uh -huh. Moments later. I wonder how long we have to wait for the result. It said on Yelp that it actually doesn't take that long. Wow, this is... I'm nervous for some reason. Well, we had some rather unexpected results. Very surprising indeed. Is something wrong? Is everything okay? Nothing is wrong. Quite the opposite, in fact. It seems that your genome sequencing is an exact match with none other than the royal family of Brookhaven. But it's true. I'm a princess. I guess that's right. Yes. Your majesty. Well, what does this mean? What should I do? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe you should go talk to the mayor. It seems like he would be the one to know what all of this means. That's a really good idea. Come on, Sky. Let's go see Mayor Ronald Stuff. A few moments later. Well, hello there, little ladies. What can I do for you today? She's a princess. What she means is that I just went to the hospital and got my DNA tested. And it turns out that I'm a 
100% part of the royal family of Brookhaven. We weren't sure what to do with the results, but the nurse suggested we come here, so here we are. I wondered if this day would come, and yet I'm still astonished that it has. Pardon me? Us politicians were never really sure if the royal family still had a lineage, or if that was just a myth. In any event, here you are, and I must say there is a striking resemblance between you and the pictures that I've seen of the royal family. I'm surprised nobody figured this out sooner. Yeah, we saw a picture in a library book that looked just like her. Now, there actually is something I need to give you. It was entrusted to me in case someone from the royal line ever showed up. Here, this is meant to be yours. A key? But what is this open? Just take it to the bank. They'll show you. I think you'll be quite happy with the results. They'll help you at the bank. The bank? You mean this is for money or something? I mean, it's pretty much all they have at the bank, right? Yes, go on. They'll tell you everything you need to know, your majesty. Thank you, Mayor Sir. Thank you very much. Wowza! Moments later. Hello, how may I help you today? I was told to show you this key and you know what to do. Oh, wow, your majesty. Yes, well, that key opens an account with over a billion dollars in your name. Excuse me? Did she just say billion? I did, yes. Holy moly! Wowza, I need to tell my parents about this. Anything else I can help you with? Yeah, is there any for ice cream here? I'm afraid not. Shucks, well, you should consider giving out some here sometime. It would make me want to spend a lot more time here. Oh, really? Do you have an account with us? No, no I don't, but I'm a fun person to have around. I see. Meanwhile... Did you just say we're rich? Yes, I took a DNA test, and we're the royal family of Brookhaven. And we have a bank account with, like, billions of dollars in it. This is wow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I believe it because it's true. Moments later. Check it out, Skylark. It's our new home. Isn't it amazing? It's giving me family that only just discovered they were royals. Exactly. <laughs> Check out this new car. Oh, is that a Lamborghini? Straight off the runway in Paris. Ooh la la, magnifique. Seems like you're adapting to this being rich thing really well. Thank you. Now, come on. There's something I've always wanted to do with you, but never been able to. What is it? Hello there. How may I help you? We'd like one of every flavor, please. Wow, this is amazing. I thought you'd like it. Meanwhile. Hi there. We'd like to donate a million dollars to the shelter, please. Here is the cash. Wow, this is so generous. You. Well, the shelter was here for us when we really needed it. And I want it to be here for anybody else who needs it in the future. Thank you so much, sir. Most people in your position wouldn't do something like this. You're truly a good person. I just don't want any family to go through what we did and not have a place like this to come to. It really did save our lives. Meanwhile... of the royal family via DNA test. Another member of the royal family is laying claim to their state. His name is Frederick, and I have him here in the studio with me today. Frederick, please tell us more. Thank you, Laura. Basically, my claim is the truth, which is that I am the rightful heir to the royal fortune, and I have the documentation to prove it. I have served the Turner family with papers, and we will likely be going to trial this week. Wow, so what could this mean for the Turner family if you win? Well, Laura, they will lose all of the royal money. But it is my right to do this. I have nothing to my name. My parents are deceased and I have no siblings. All I have in this world is my claim to the crown of this town, which is my rightful place. I see. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Later that night. It's our lawyer, who will be representing us in the case against Frederick. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I must have blocked it out. Sorry, I'll go get the door. Hello there. How do you do? I'm sorry to bother you. I believe you were expecting me. Mom, who's here? 
here. Honey, Mackenzie, this is Mr. Phillips. He'll be representing us in the case. Hi, so first things first, I don't think anybody should panic until we know more. I have requested Frederick also get a DNA test and the results are still pending. So there's still a chance that this whole thing could get thrown out of court altogether. But if not, he could get everything and we'll have to go back to being poor. Yes, but like I said, let's cross that bridge only when or if we ever have to. Don't worry, honey. If it does come to that, we've been through it before and we'll get through it again as a family. The next day... If it pleases the court, I have new evidence of interest. I'll allow it. What do you have, Mr. Aldestein? My client here, Frederick, has received his DNA results and they are a match with the royal family. Then that means you're part of our family. Order in the court. Hey, your honor, can I say something? All right, you're too cute to refuse. Go ahead. Frederick, if these results are true, then that means you're my long-lost uncle. And if that's true, then that means we're all part of the same family. Don't you want us all to be one family together? My family is the most precious thing to me in the world. Having a family means always having the feeling of home and love and togetherness. We shouldn't be fighting each other over money. We should be laughing and hanging out and goofing around and eating meals together. I'd love to have an uncle. Would you like to have a niece? You know what? You're right. I'm dropping the case. I have always wanted a family. I just didn't think you would want me to be part of yours. Well, we do. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Local royal family is reunited after a rather sweet outburst in the courtroom today. So it seems that they will all be sharing the money and spending time together as a family. What a sweet, sweet story. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Sky, today was crazy. We almost lost everything, but now I gained an uncle. I saw it was all over the news. You're totally like famous now and rich. It's amazing. So I was thinking, want to do that ice cream thing again? The one where we get every single flavor and eat it until our tummies hurt? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have a good job, son. You struggle. Always remember to do good in school. Isn't it mean to just ignore them? Ugh, why does everyone always pretend I'm not here? It's so hurtful. That's it. I think I'm ready to give up. Hey, girl! Hi! Do you have any spare change for me? Oh, you moron! I'm just pulling over to tell you I can smell you from down the road! You stink! Go home and have a shower! I can't! Later that same evening. This actually sucks. Why is my life so hard? I wish my mom was rich, just like other people's parents. Would you like a reading about your future for $29.99, young darling? I wish, but I'm broke and have no money. It's for free, but once my visions come true, you have to pay me handsomely or else you will be cursed forever. But what if I can't afford to pay you once your vision comes true? Trust me, you will, because Mackenzie, you will go from poor to rich celebrity in 24 hours. And last time I checked, celebrities make lots of money. What? Are you serious? I would never break my vows and lie, I promise. I have to hurry home and tell my mom. Thank you so much, Mrs. Psychic Lady. A few moments later. How much money did you make? Zero. What do you mean zero? I only made 20 cents today. Looks like we definitely don't have enough for food. Ugh. Well, I've got some good news at least. Yeah, like what? A psychic came over and gave me a reading for my future. She said that I'm gonna be a celebrity. <laughs> and you believed her? They are such a waste of money. Wait a minute, did you pay her for her reading? And that's why you have no money today? Because usually you're like a cash cow. No, I swear to God, I promise you. Better not be lying. Later that night. How am I gonna be a celebrity? She said it was gonna happen in 24 hours. So something crazy must happen or will I just get the perfect idea? <gasps> I got it! Should I say it out loud or should I just keep it to myself? Hmm. Okay, fine, I'll say it out loud. I am gonna rob the instrument store and then play the guitar on the side of the road to make money. And then, because I'm so good, I will blow up on social media and then just become a celebrity. Booyah! Five minutes later. I can't believe I just did it. Holy camoly. I hope I don't get caught. Hold up. This is a really nice guitar. Hey, get back here! Ah! 
one hour later. What happened? Oh my god, what took you so long to get here? This happened an hour ago. What were you doing, George? I was busy. Busy eating donuts? That guitar the person stole is the most famous guitar in the world. It's worth millions of dollars, and you were at the police station eating donuts? No, I wasn't. Mmm, these are my favorite donuts ever. Yeah, right. The next day... Time to start the clock. Stardom awaits. Kenzie, you better make some money today. Don't worry, I'm gonna rack in the dough. I'm gonna be a celebrity by tonight. Yeah, keep dreaming, kiddo. Three hours later. Sweet home, Brookhaven. Oh, I miss you so much. I'm just a young girl singing, wanting to be the best. Woohoo! Oh my, that is literally the worst singing I have ever heard. It's so awful. This video is gonna get so many views. If you're gonna be like that, just leave. I'm trying to hustle. <laughs> you're the worst hustler ever. Whatever. It's amazing that you just don't want to admit it. I'll go somewhere else. Five minutes later. Sweet home, Brookhaven. Oh, I miss you so much. I'm just a young girl singing, wanting to be the best. Woohoo! Whoa, that rocked. <laughs> the best street musician in history <laughs> of never. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You guys are the best. I don't think she knew that you were being sarcastic. <laughs> I know, that's what made it so much better. That was like the worst singing I've ever heard. I agree. <laughs> Boating on manure in the smelly dingy river. <laughs> I'm gonna post this on TikTok. Wow, I cannot believe how many people like my music. Definitely gonna be a star. I should have done this like ages ago. I'd be living like a queen life. Moments later. You must be the famous Mackenzie. I'm famous already? Oh my gosh, she was right. I'm destined for stardom. Not yet you are. Oh. But with me by your side, you'll be able to achieve anything. I'm the only person you ever need now. Don't go to anyone else for help. Well, what about the crazy lady on the street who came up to me? And that told me I would be a celebrity in 24 hours. And then when that happens and I make lots of money, then I need to give her some money. <laughs> Mackenzie, you silly, silly girl. Seriously, though, don't give that crazy lady any money, no matter what. Okay, roger that. Videos of you that got posted on TikTok went absolutely viral, and you need to make a TikTok account and make more of those videos so you can make lots and lots of money. I can't believe I'm such a good singer and guitarist. I literally just learned. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello? What's so funny? Oh, honey, it's not because you're good. It's because you're awful. <laughs> you're making people get a laugh. But don't worry, you'll make lots of money to wash down the pain, sweetie. Oh, well, that's awkward. A few moments later. Will I be able to buy a house like this soon? Yeah, if you turn into a posting machine and make us both a lot of money. Feel. Good, because here's a phone you need to strike while the iron is hot. I need 10 videos from you by the end of the day. But it's basically already the end of the day. Then you better get started. One hour later. Ugh, I've been here for so many hours and I don't want to sing any longer. One eternity later. Oh my goodness! Oh, these are good, real good. Mackenzie! Yes, yes, hi Mackenzie, what's going on? This is only eight videos, you still have two left. Ugh. You want to be star, don't you? Yes. All right, hurry up, finish up those last two videos. Being tired, I'm being tired. I want to lay my face down and snooze till the morning. Wake up for a brand new day, it's the greatest, it's the best, the most amazing thing on earth. I want it, I need it. Please give it to me, let me snooze, let me sleep in my bed. One eternity later. Oh. I finally finished. Who knew being a celebrity was so hard? I thought they just did whatever they wanted every day. You're an internet sensation now! And basically super famous! Rest easy, my star. You could basically have whatever you want now, and you blew up faster than Charlie D'Amelio did! <gasps> I'm a star! Later that night. Hey to all my cuties out there who wants to hear me before my favorite song! <laughs> No one wants to hear you perform. They just want to meet you. What? Why? Because you're famous and people love meeting famous people. The next day. Where have you been these past couple of days? No money, no food, and oh, 
all of a sudden you're famous and have fancy clothes and you've been eating? Chill out. Everything is good. The fridge is fully stocked. Oh, uh, when are we buying a new place then? This one sucks. It's a surprise. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura. And please welcome our snazzy special guest who had a rather overnight rise to fame, Mackenzie. Hi. Please tell me, Mackenzie, what's it like being famous and how did this happen? Well, some psychic lady on the street came up to me and told me that I was going to go from poor to rich in 24 hours. And 24 hours later, it happened. I can't believe it happened. And this is my trusty guitar. I love that thing. I mean, it is a very fancy guitar. Anyway, this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. A few moments later. See, Mom, wasn't it worth the surprise? Whoa, it is so fancy, Mackenzie. I've never owned anything like this before. Life is going to be completely different from us now on. It will never be the same. You are the bestest daughter a mom could ever ask for. Hey, I got you some new clothes, and maybe it's time for a good shower. Do I stink that bad? Do you want me to lie? No. Then you should have a shower. Moments later. Huh, I wonder who that could be. Very nice place you have here. I know, right? I've come for my share of the money. <laughs> You're funny. What? My agent told me not to give you any money, so sorry. It's not happening. You'll regret that decision, for the great psychics of the world have the power to give it. They also have the power to take it. Stop speaking weird and leave me alone, crazy lady. This is not the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you never. So, what do you think? Um, I've got one more surprise for you. What? I can't tell you. A hint. Okay, fine. It involves driving. Meanwhile. Not answering your phone and eating donuts. Sounds like exactly what happened the last time. I'm sorry, who are you? The guy who got robbed. Oh, right, right. How can I help you? Ugh, whatever. Look, I know who stole my guitar, and we need to get it right now. Why right now? Before it's too late. A few moments later. I cannot believe my daughter has a Lamborghini. Grace Mackenzie Turner, you are under arrest. Huh? For what? For stealing a guitar, you... The How do you plead, Mackenzie? Is this true? Mackenzie, um, what's going on? I don't know. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura, and the stars have fallen for our one celebrity. A promising future, now only a damaging future. Her guitar that helped her gain fame was a stolen piece of an expensive one at that. Mackenzie's memory will forever Tarnished. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Well, at least I still have my agent. Hi, Mackenzie. Oh, I was just thinking about you. About? About how you're like the only one left except for my mom. Yeah, about that. I'm actually dropping you. What? Why? You can't do that. You spent all my money. It's nothing personal. It's just showbiz. I'm sure you'll bounce back. No, I won't. Yeah, you're probably right. That's why I'm dropping you. <laughs> Two weeks later. How do you plead? Guilty. I'm very sorry for my actions. I didn't mean to do any of that. It just kind of happened, and I'm really sorry for that. There's no excuse. But me and my mom were starving, and we didn't have any food, so I was desperate. Thank you for your sincere apology. Good news is I am not sending you to jail because it was an honest mistake. But you have to delete your TikTok, and you can't make any money off of it anymore. Please. No! Sucks. You were supposed to be home an hour ago. What on earth am I supposed to even do here? We don't even have TV. Well, I need your help sometimes. Fine, then I'm going to my room. Ugh, I wonder what it would be like to be a princess. <gasps> Wait a minute, that's it. Moments later. Mom, mom. Yes? Do you think it's possible for me to become a princess? <laughs> oh my gosh, Mackenzie, you're killing me. <laughs> that is the funniest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. No, you definitely cannot become a princess. We are way too poor for that. Why are we poor? Because we just are. Now stop asking questions. A few moments later. Do you think it's possible to become a princess? Uh, heck yeah it is. Really? Can you help me, girly? Well, I'm not really sure how to. Oh. Yeah, but I wouldn't worry. Why is that? Because I know exactly how to go see to help you become a princess. 
really? Well, I never lied to you, girly. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Moments later. Uh, where are you taking me, girly? You'll see. Well, it doesn't seem like you're taking me anywhere. We're on the edge of town. Oh, good things happen on the edge of town. Um, no, they don't. All the bad things and all the sketchy things happen on the edge of town. Okay, maybe you're like half right, but this one thing is not sketchy at all. Trust me. Okay, fine. Three hours later. We've been like hours, girly. Are we there yet? Just have some patience, girly, and have some faith. If it's so easy, then everyone would be a princess. Ugh. You know I'm right. Yes, yes, I know you're right. One eternity later. Okay, we're here. I sure hope so. We've been walking for like a lifetime. Oh, suck it up, Buttercup. Why on earth did you even bring me here in the first place? To make you a princess. Well, I'm waiting. Just wait a little longer. All right. One eternity later. All No, I am so out. Where do you think you're going? Ah! It's a witch! It's a witch! Relax, girly. That's who we've been waiting for. Oh. This is who I brought you to see. How can a witch help me, though? How can a witch help you? I'm insulted. You would even ask. That's a valid question. Forge a princess in 24 hours? Forge a princess in 24 hours? That's exactly what I need. Well, I can make that happen. How? I don't believe you. Just Chill out and trust me, I'll first need to make a potion. I do not want to drink any potions. Don't worry, the potion is not for you. Second, you need to go dress shopping at Rockstar tomorrow. Be there at lunchtime and then afterwards a beauty appointment at the salon. But I have no money for any of that. It'll all be figured out. But, huh, how? See, I told you not to doubt. The next day... Where's your friend, Sky? First of all, she's not my friend. And second, she said to just come here. I don't think she's meeting us here. Hmm, interesting. Hi, uh, my name's Mackenzie, and... Yes, yes, we've been waiting for you right this way. See? I told you so. We have a few dresses waiting for you. Ooh, which ones are they? I think you mean from what collection, girly? Right, right. From what collection? The princess collection. What? The princess collection? I didn't even know that existed. That's because it's only allowed for a select few. And you are doubting. Learn to trust, girly. Learn to trust. You're right, girly. I definitely need to learn to trust. A few moments later. I think this is the one. Just look at it, Sky. Kenzie, it's the only one you've tried on. At least try on the other ones first. Oh, yeah. Good point. I think this one looks elegant. Thank you, Mr. Rockstar Man, sir. Can I try on the other one? Why, of course. Moments later. All right. How do I look? I think I like the other one better. Yeah, me too. I think this one looks dashing, but I will agree. I think the other one suits you better. Time for the third and final dress, I guess. Five minutes later. Just look at this. Elegance is just one dashing look away. This is definitely the one, girly. I totally agree. I've never seen a dress look so beautiful on someone before. I think I'm gonna tear up. I like the best complimenter in the whole world. Thank you. That means the world to me. So how much is it? Oh, it is all taken care of. Sweet. Moments later. Time for the princess makeover. You better not forget me when you become a princess, girly. I would never. You'll be my trusted advisor. A few moments later. Okay, how do I look, girly? Ravishing, girly. Ravishing. Later that same evening. We've been waiting here for forever and I'm not a princess yet. What is going on? Just because I have a fancy dress and a makeover doesn't mean I'm a princess. Girly, everything's gonna be okay. She said pour the princess in 24 hours. There's still loads of time. She's just getting the next few things ready to go. Ugh, I hope so. Stay patient. Everything will be fine. Moments later. Ugh, I can't believe I got my hopes up. For nothing. This sucks. I guess I should know better not to get my hopes up. That's for sure. I guess I'll just be poor forever. I'm sorry I let you down, girly. But hey, at least you got a brand new fancy dress and a makeover out of it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Always get to look on the positive side of things. Yeah, well, I guess it's time to take this off. What's up, lady? Where have you been? We've been waiting for what to do next like all day. Oh, well, I'm sensing a lot of hostility at the moment. I'm a little confused. What's wrong? You got the fancy princess dress and the makeover. All is going well so far. Well, those things don't make me a princess. Well, duh, I know that's silly. And that is precisely why I got you an invitation to the big ball tonight. And a handsome prince is going to be there. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous now. I don't know what to do or how to act. Or what to say? Don't worry. Once he lays his eyes on you, he'll definitely be instantly attracted. Oh my gosh.
God, you're the best. See, I told you not to stress. But anyways, I gotta run. I will see you later. See, Shirley, she's the real deal. Three hours later. This is gonna be so exciting. I cannot wait. Guy, what's wrong, girly? Is everything okay? Yeah, I just wish I could come. Oh, don't be sad, girly. Because once I become a princess, we'll both become princesses. I promise. Really? Oh, 100%. Moments later. How can I help you? Um, I'm Mackenzie. I have an invitation to this, um... Did you say Mackenzie? Yes. Mackenzie, I am so sorry. Right this way, right this way. Oh, okay. It's so amazing to meet you, Mackenzie. I have heard so many amazing things about you. And let me tell you, the prince is so excited to meet you. That will be all. Yes, of course, prince. Oh, hey there. You are so beautiful. Thank you. I think we should dance. Oh. Okay. You are such a great dancer. What is that magical move called? Me and my best friend Sky made it up. It's called the Lucy Goosey. How am I doing? Absolutely amazing. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. And why did you stop dancing? Because I think I'm in love and I want you to meet my parents. Really? Yes. A few moments later. Oh, you must be the famous Mackenzie. Yes, we have heard so much about you and are so pleased to finally meet you. Really? Oh, you're like the coolest person in all of Brookhaven. I mean, I wouldn't say that, but thanks. You're making me blush. Mother, father, I would like to make Mackenzie my princess. Oh, I definitely we have no problem with that. I accept this. And how do you feel about this, Miss Mackenzie? It's always been my dream to be a princess. Well then, it's settled. Mackenzie will be the new princess of Brookhaven. Later that night. So, how do you like being a princess now? Oh, I love it. Soon one day, this will be all yours. Really? Pinky promise. Moments later. It was so weird. They all went to bed in the same room. That made no sense. It wasn't even a bedroom. They just locked themselves away. Well, technically, it's not weird. Whoa, uh, why is that? Well, because I kind of sort of made them do that. What? What do you mean? Why? Well, I took control of them so they would like you and you would become the princess. And then basically, they would do everything you say. And then I would force you to do everything I say so I could just rule over Brookhaven. <gasps> that is so evil. I can't believe you used me. But why do you need me? Because a witch can't just take power. Or all by herself. That would be way too obvious, silly. You are evil. Well, you literally have no choice. Meanwhile. I wish I was with Mackenzie right now. I miss her so much. I hope she doesn't forget about me. Uh, <laughs> wait, who am I kidding? She's probably having the time of her life right now. And she's definitely gonna forget all about me. <laughs> the next day. I'm Laura, and today we've got some juicy, juicy news for you. Mackenzie, the new princess of Brookhaven, has just been pronounced the official ruling princess of Brookhaven by the king himself. This is just insane. She must be pretty special to get that type of vote of confidence from the king himself. Well, that is it for today, but remember to stay tuned for all the breaking news right here in Brookhaven. This is Laura, signing off. What the heck? Mackenzie's in charge already? A few moments later. Girly, oh, thank God you're here. I can't believe you're like the head of the family. No, girly, it's not a good thing. It's actually really bad. Why? Because it was all set up. The witch is evil. And now she's forcing me to do all her bidding for her. Are you serious? Dead serious, girly. Oh, this is not good. One pathetic soap story later. Now that I told you the whole truth, we need to figure out how we're gonna get out of this mess. I totally agree, girly. I totally agree. Freeze! Huh? What? What's going on? You are under arrest for the disappearance of the king, the queen, and the prince. What? What do you mean? They're inside. No, they're not. We have a witness that says they're not. Who? I saw the whole thing. Mackenzie tricked all of them to become a princess and rule over Brookhaven. She cannot be trusted. Ugh, I hate being poor. We're not poor. Sky, we're homeless on the street with nothing. We're poorer than poor. We're homeless. Poor is all a mindset, though, girly. We have to start thinking rich. Otherwise, we'll never get rich. I just wish my mom never left me. Same. At least one of them 
could have stayed, but nope. Both of them had to go ditching us. Well, they did go together, so it kind of made sense. I just wish there was some way we could go from rich to poor in 24 hours. Meanwhile, don't you just hate being broke? Well, then do something about it. And while you're at it, out doing something about it, stop being a lazy brokey. You see this beautiful Lambo? Something like this could be all yours if you just stop being lazy and bought my course. Ew, you are such a dweeb. Yeah, dweeb. Um, excuse me? Cut, cut, cut. Ugh! You both need to leave right now. Come on, Ayla. Let's get out of here before his dweebness gets on us. <laughs> Whatever you guys say, I have a Lambo and you don't. Having a Lambo doesn't automatically make you cool, loser. What is wrong with people these days? What are you doing? Set up the camera. We need to get another take since those clowns ruined it. Well, uh, here's the thing. Our time's up. What do you mean? We have to take the Lambo back. Our rental time is up. We can do another take. Relax. I don't think you understand. We are way past the rental time, and we have to take this back ASAP. Ugh, she's always a little tense. A few moments later. You want to have a mansion like this? Look at this. It's the biggest and bestest mansion. And get Guess who owns it? Me. That's right, me. And that's because I ain't no brokey. And like the kids say, I'm chasing the bag. Cut. All right, how was that? Perfect. Five minutes later. Excuse me, but that's my couch. What do you think you're doing? Move along, poop brains, and shut up. We got some classic TV watching right now. Stevie? Yes. Guards? Cut this guy a cap or don't even worry. It's the mayor. Oops, time to boogie. Meanwhile. I am so hungry, girly. Same, same. I want chicken nuggies. Same. Should we go rob Don's? I was seriously contemplating it, but we probably shouldn't do anything crazy. You're probably right, girly. I'm always right. Yeah, totally. A few moments later. Are they almost done yet? They're almost done. Well, hurry. We don't have the rest of our lives here. Plus, I'm pretty much done with being a brokey at this point in time. But... I want you out right now. But... Mr. Owner of the hotel, sir. Don't you, sir, me. Let me handle this. Excuse me, sir, but you stand to make a lot of money. And if you just get with the program, as it stands, you owe me a lot of money. And I want you out since you haven't even paid. And I'm going to the police so they can get the rest for me. Wait a second. Let's not make any drastic decisions just yet. You have five seconds. We are about to make millions, okay? Just give us, like, a few days. I promise. Okay, but if you break... Break your promise, I'll make you pay with your life. Ew. Oh god, you better not get me killed. Relax. Several days later. Oh boy, I wonder what they're serving today. Hopefully something good, that's all I can say. I'm sorry, but no food today. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. A few moments later. He's teaching people how to make unlimited money and live the life of their dreams. I want to be just like him. And he's here in Brookhaven. Huh? What's going on? Steven, the business mentor, is super rich, and he's teaching others how to become rich, just like him with his teaching course. What are you waiting for? Press play, stupid! Okay, okay! And I guarantee that I'll change anyone's life in 24 hours. Poor to rich in 24 hours in Roblox! Moments later. What are you girls doing in here? Phone, we need it. Uh, don't mind her, she's just hungry. Well, I have food. Nah. The bag. Has he entered yet? No. Hello. Hi. Is Steven there? This is Steven's assistant. What's up? We want to learn from the master. Come to the motel. Five minutes later. Ew, it's like so gross here. This is kind of a nice place. What on earth is this super rich businessman doing living here? This doesn't make sense, and I don't like it one bit, girly. Oh, it'll be fine. Don't even stress. He's probably just like, I don't know, but it'll be fine. Come on. One eternity later. <gasps> It took long enough. Welcome. Um, hi? Why are you living in an ugly motel if you're, like, super rich? Guy! Well, uh, my house is getting fixed up right now, and I have nowhere to go. Anyways, are you ready to begin your 24-hour journey to becoming wealthy beyond your wildest imaginations? Yes! Good, because the clock starts now. Um, what on earth just happened, girl? I'm asking myself the very same thing. Excuse me, but... Ah! What are you doing in here? You can well, we have no idea what to do, though. Well, duh, you haven't bought the course yet. All you need to do is pay $49.99 for it, and then you can get started. Listen up, bucko. We don't have any of that stuff. 
we're broke as broke can be. So you need to teach us yourself. And if you do, we'll pay you a percentage of the money we make for life. I like the sound of that. Not gonna lie. One hour later. Now that I've told you everything I know, you are ready to go. That seemed like horrible advice. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Are you questioning his knowledge? Yes. You are not allowed to speak like that to Steven. Whatever. We're done with this. Come on, girly. What do we have to lose? We have to at least try it. We've already hit rock bottom. It's only up from here. A few moments later. Lamborghini. It's so pretty. Howdy there, girls. Howdy. We are here to pick up the Lamborghini. Just don't bring it back late like the last person. They were such a dweeb. Moments later. Okay, okay. He told us to film a video and then post it. So people will think we're rich and then buy his course. Wait, isn't that what he did? Yeah, well, we don't have very many options left, girly. And we need some moolah. Meanwhile. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Hi, everyone. I am Laura. And boy, do we have some news in the business side of things for all of you business folks. A local businessman, Steven the Business Mentor, is really kicking up a storm for young people, teaching them how to make millions, and apparently it's working, according to thousands of videos all around the Roblox world. This is Laura from Brookhaven News, signing off. Steven, we did it! Of course we did. I'm a genius! Wait, what did we do? You are all over the news. The people love you, and we've made millions. Time to go buy a nice Let's hold off on a house just in case we gotta dip the scene real quick. That way we can just slide out undetected. What? Well, why would that happen? Oh, uh, um... Wait, are we doing something shady? No, never! Everything is perfectly legal, I promise. Well, time to celebrate then! Meanwhile... Okay, I think we're finally done. Hey, hey, let's get out of here before the owner gets back. Do you know whose house this is? No! Mine? Really? Your it's Ronald Stumps, and you're trespassing. Weirdly enough, you're not the first person today, so he's very annoyed and wants you both arrested and put in jail. Please, George, no, don't put us in jail. How long have you known us? Please. Don't worry. I already told him that was a little dramatic. We're here filming a marketing video. Can't you just chill out a little bit? No, so it's time to leave. That's fine. We finished filming anyways. You're going to have to hand that footage over right now. Seriously? Then you're gonna be in big trouble. Guys, just give him the footage. I don't want to go to jail. Oh, uh, fine. I used to think you were cool, George. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. And we have a crook in our midst. He needs to be dealt with. Steven, the business mentor, has literally made millions of dollars in just a few days. But people are angry because his program is bad and false and telling young people to do illegal stuff. And he was never even rich to begin with. He was just lying and ripping people off. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Ugh, I can't believe we didn't make any money. Our bag is literally empty. Well, at least we got some of the mayor's wife's clothes, but... It was all a big, large, stinky piece of fakeness. What are we going to do now? We're still poor and nothing's better. Revenge. I don't know if I like the sound of that, girly. Oh, come on. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Moments later. Hello. What's the plan, girly? Just follow my lead. Well, maybe they're just not home. Doubt it. Oh, I uh, did not expect to see you both. You actually just cut me on my way out. Bad timing. I know. I'll see you girls later. <laughs> Uh, oh, you what? Oh, your money? Ha 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 ha, that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Y'all are on some clown vibes. What is going on? They want all our money. <laughs> are you serious right now? Maybe we should just leave, girly. Not happening. I'm giving you one last chance, Steven. Sign over all your money right now or else. <laughs> you are so funny. Shut up. I am not joking. Oh, yeah? And how do you manage you're gonna do that? You're gonna use your power to force me? You have no cards to play. Oh, haha. -ha. Well, here's the thing. I got lots of cards up my sleeves. Later that night. Please, I'll do anything. I beg you. Please, make it stop. Not so funny now, funny guy. Hey, why the long face, girly? Because you've been playing Girls World on repeat to torture him. The song's not that bad. I thought it was pretty awesome, actually. Well, duh. It's like the best song in the world, but... And now that is a big but. So anyways, if you play any song on 
repeat for hours, that would make any person hate their favorite song. Especially if you have it on full blast, that would make it even worse. I mean, I guess. Just look at it this way. At least he'll know every word of the song now. Yeah, I guess you're right. Please, take the headphones off. He's in a lot of pain right now. I'm gonna ask this one more time and once more only. Are you ready to sign over all the money? Hello, he can't hear you. Here, let me get this for you. Please, I'll do anything. Please, Sky, I'm begging you. Then sign over all your money. Can I at least leave with a little bit of money? Sure, why not? The next morning. Hey, wake up. It's time to leave. And how come my things aren't packed? Because you suck. And I'm leaving because you don't have any money to pay me. And you didn't tell me this last night? Or is this just a thing? thing that you thought of in the morning. Well, I made my decision last night. What? And you didn't tell me? If you'd let me finish, I would have told you that I didn't tell you last night because I needed a place to sleep. And now I figured I was owed that for all the work I did. You're the worst. Moments later. This actually sucks and couldn't get much worse. Steven, you are under arrest. One hour later. Why am I in here? George, why am I in here? No one's helping you anytime soon. Soon, so sit tight. Why am I in here? Don't you play stupid with me. Moments later. We're rich now! We're sort of business. We gotta change out of these ugly clothes and get into some bougie attire. Agreed. Moments later. You can't be in here paying customers only. Uh, rude. Excuse me? You're judging us based off of our looks, and that is not okay. We're worth millions of dollars. Phone the owner. We're buying the place. A few moments later. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes, enjoy your millions of dollars. So, the store is ours now? Heck yeah, girly. A booyah. And for the first order of business, you're fired and banned from the store forever. How do you like them apples? Not bad. I actually hate this job, so thank you. That did not go how it was supposed to. A few moments later. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Come on, just tell me. We're almost there. Just have some patience. Moments later. I can't believe you rented out the helicopter. I didn't rent it out, girly. I bought it for us. Sims. Hey, that's not fair. You snooze, you lose. Meanwhile. I didn't say anything. Snitches get stitches. Well, we're not looking for anyone else. We're literally just asking you for where the money is. I don't have it. Stop lying. I'm serious. I'm not. Yes, you are. Does it look like I have any money? Everyone bought your stupid course. Yeah, but Sky and Mackenzie stole all my money and then ran off with it. Ha ha ha. You think I'm stupid or something? There's no way that happened. What do you mean? They literally just came here like five minutes ago and bought a helicopter. They're hardworking girls. I'm sure they earn the money working. Moments later. I can't believe we're rich. I never doubted us, girly. Poor to rich in 24 hours. His program actually worked. Yeah, and all we had to do was take it from him. I guess that was the secret meaning of his terrible course. You got that right, girly. Life is gonna be so easy from now on. How much money do we have left? I don't know. That's your job, I thought. What's my job? You know, making sure we have money and don't run out. You never told me that. Oh no, we've already spent half the money in just one day. We gotta chill out, girly. Oh, relax. Everything's gonna be fine. There's literally no way we run out of money. Trust me. Several days later. I seem to recall you saying something about never running out of money. Now look at us. We're back where we started. Chill out, girly. Money's meant to be spent, not held onto for dear life. Easy to say when you did all the spending. Later that night. Where is that little twerp? I want my money back. <laughs> That is nasty. Wake up! Ah! Oh, wait. It's just you. What do you want? My money. I don't have any. It's all gone, so go away. You're gonna pay for that. <laughs> How? I'm in jail. Looks like I can walk right in here. What a shame. Please, don't hurt me. I'll do anything. A little late for that, isn't it now? Please! Nah! Everyone, I'm Laura, your host with the most. Breaking news for today, Steven was found dead in his jail cell. You know the evil jerk who was ripping everyone off and got arrested for lying? Yeah, him. Someone killed him. Anyways, this is Laura from Brogaven News, signing off. Two weeks later. Mackenzie and Sky. Yes? Jeez, you both stink. Really? Like super bad? Obviously, Kenzie, we haven't showered in like three weeks. You're
they're under arrest for stealing Steven's money and killing him. Whew, that was a really long day at work. I can't wait to go home and just relax. Oh my gosh, there's a fire truck. I hope everything's all right. Where are they going? They're stopping at my house. Wait, what's going on? Oh my gosh, my house is on fire. Oh my goodness, I must have left my hair straightener on this morning. Oh no, this fire is massive. Ma'am, is this your house? Yes, it is. Please save it. I will do my best. Oh my God, I just realized all my money's upstairs under my mattress. I've got to go get it. <gasps> my guitar. I am not leaving you behind to burn. Oh my gosh, there's so much fire. Ma'am, it's unsafe in here. I have to go get my money. It's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get you out of here. No, put me down. I need my money. Stay here. I will save your house. Please, man, Mr. Firetruck Man, save my house. Ma'am, I have some good news and some bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Um, uh, the bad news, I guess. Well, the bad news is that your house has completely burned down, and it appears that you do not have any fire insurance. Wait, I thought fire insurance just came with houses. Uh, no, ma'am. You have to get it specifically. Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. <sighs> All right, and what's the good news? Well, the good news is that my shift is over and now I can go home. Bye. Oh no, I lost everything. I had all my money in there. Where am I supposed to live now? This is a disaster and all I have is just my guitar. I've worked my whole life to buy this house and now it's gone. I have nothing. I have no idea how I'm going to get through this, but... You know what? I'm gonna figure it out. Later that night. Uh, it's getting chilly out here. I wonder how much it costs to get a night at the motel. Hi there. Ew, you stink. Uh, anyways, how can I help you? I was wondering if you'd be able to spare me a room for the night. You see, my house just burnt down. Um, do I look like a charity to you? Paying customers only. Oh, okay, right, of course. Uh, how much is it? One night at our motel is $10. Oh, okay. Definitely can't afford that. <sighs> I guess I'll just have to sleep on the streets for tonight. Well, at least I got my guitar with me. Home, home on the range where the deers and the antelope play twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are wow you have an amazing voice oh really you think no i'm just playing around well where's your hat where can i put money in you're one of those street performers right oh uh yeah sure am great here's all i have wow 20 bucks thank you so much you're welcome you're gonna be a star one day oh my gosh that was so sweet of him oh my gosh i finally have enough money to go get a hotel room oh this is amazing i can finally warm up uh you again hi yes uh here's the ten dollars for the night oh thank you your room is number five on the right enjoy your stay awesome thank you so much oh look it's this one right here okay this isn't the exact same as my old house but it's definitely better than the streets maybe at least i can go in the bathroom and wash up a little bit oh my gosh i've never seen so much dirt come off my hands all right now i need to get some sleep because tomorrow is a brand new day now tomorrow i'm gonna look for a brand new job so i can work my way up to back where i was before ah <sighs> good night the next morning all righty i've always got to start my morning off with some water now i'm gonna see if there's any job openings for today oh wow there's actually an opening for a taxi company I mean, I don't really have much experience being a taxi, but it doesn't hurt to apply. Whew, okay, so now I just have to wait for a call and see if they want to hire me. <gasps> My phone's ringing. Uh, hello? Yes, of course I can make it. See you then. Bye. Yes, this is perfect. I cannot blow this job interview. All right, let me fix up my hair a little bit. I'm looking a little scruffy. All right, that's much better. All right, I better go. I can't be late. Oh my God, there it is up ahead. Hi there, is this the taxi company? Yes, you must be Mackenzie. Yup, that's me. I'm Bob. Nice to meet you. So what made you want to be a taxi driver? Uh, well, I, I just love driving cars. Perfect, you're hired. Oh my God, awesome. Choose any of these vehicles. Ooh, okay, the yellow one's pretty cute. Can I take the yellow? One? Of course. So I get 10% of what you earn and you keep the rest. Have fun. Bye. Oh, okay. That sounds like an easy enough job. Wow. Okay. I never thought I'd be a taxi driver, but here we are. All right. So I guess I just drive around till I see anyone needs a taxi. Oh, look at that. It looks like my first customer. Taxi, taxi. Hey, hop in. All right. Now where are we off to? Uh, just go straight. All right. Whatever you say. So, uh, how was your night? Uh, it was good. Like, could you go any slower? I have places to be. I I mean, there is a speed limit, and I'm driving as fast as I can. Uh, take me to the motel. Okay, sure. Yeah, the motel. Oh, my God. Whoops, I just threw up. I am so sorry. Oh, must have been the chili I ate. Uh, oh, my God. That's so gross. It's a fine. I guess I'll clean it up. Uh, so 
sorry. I don't have any money on me. Wait, what? You have to pay me? Oh, it smells so bad back there. Okay, isn't that like illegal? You can't just do that. Ugh, this job sucks. I should just quit this job. You know, I'm probably better off being homeless. Taxi, taxi. Oh, looks like there's another customer. Hey, uh, where are you off to? Hi, I need you to take me home ASAP. All right, well, I'll drive as fast as I can. Hop in. My house is just up the hill from here. So, uh, what made you want to become a taxi driver? Oh, well, actually, my house caught on fire and I desperately needed a job. Oh, no, is your house okay? No, it actually all burnt down. I'm actually staying in a motel right now. Oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, I'm actually looking for a maid to take care of my house while I'm away on business trips. Would you be interested? Oh, my gosh, I would absolutely love that. Great, there's my house up ahead. Here's a tip for you. Oh, wow, that is way too much. I can't take all that. No, I insist. You need it more than I do. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No problem. All right, be back here tomorrow morning. All right, sounds good. I'll see you then. Wow, what a coincidence. I mean, a maid would be way better than this taxi job. Yes, I cannot wait to start. All right, I'm gonna get a good sleep tonight and I'll be back there tomorrow. The next morning. All right, I picked up a maid uniform at the dollar store. Hopefully this will do. Mackenzie, come on in. Uh, girl, what's with that maid outfit? Oh, I thought I'd play the part. <laughs> You're so funny. Come on, you can have an outfit for my closet. Oh, wow. Thank you. Whoa, her house is so nice. This is her room? She has a hot tub in her room. Pick anything you like. Oh my god, this is the biggest closet I've ever seen. Do you mind if I wear this? No, I don't mind at all. As a matter of fact, that looks so much better on you than me. I mean, you might as well keep it. Wow, you're so generous. Thank you. Of course. Now let me show you your tasks. All right, what's first, boss? Well, for today, I need this house to be mopped. That Vacuum, lawn mode, and for dinner to be ready when I get home. Okay, yeah, no problem. I can deafs do that. Okay, great. I'll see you tonight. I gotta go to a business meeting. Okay, wow. Okay, this place is amazing, but I gotta get to work. Later that night. Wow, this house looks amazing. Oh, wow, thanks. I've got dinner made over here for you, too. Here you go. It's nice and warm. Wow, thank you. My favorite meal, steak. How did you know? Well, I saw that steak in the freezer and just assumed. Here, let me go get your pay for you. I wonder how much I'm gonna get paid for this. I mean, anything's better than that taxi job. Whoa. You did such a great job today. I figured I would give you your month's rent pay up front for you. Wow, that's incredible. So there's about $10,000 in there. $10,000? Is that enough? Of course, it'll help me buy a new house again. Keep up the great work, Mackenzie. You can have the rest of the day off. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow, bye. You know, I'm gonna take this money and invest it into a new house for me. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. It looks like this one's for sale. Hey there, are you looking to check out the house? Yeah, I was hoping to get a quick tour. Amazing, just show yourself around and let me know. I'll be sitting right here. Awesome, thank you so much. Wow, this room is so large. <gasps> this bathroom, it's perfect. Okay, I am literally in love with this house. I have to get it. So, how did you like it? It's amazing. How much is it on the market for? I'm selling it for $10,000. Perfect, I'll take it. I can finally move to Bloxburg. See ya. Uh, okay. Wow, I finally... I finally have my own house again. This is so amazing. I feel so proud of myself. I knew I shouldn't have given up. Three weeks later. It's so nice to be rich and have such an amazing job to go to every day. Being poor honestly was the worst. And here it is, another day on the job. Mackenzie, hey. So I have some guests over today. Hey, uh, let me know if you guys ever need anything. Sure, thanks, Mackenzie. Sometimes I don't want to be happy. Don't hold it against me if I'm down. Just leave me there, let me be sad. Excuse me? Oh, hi, sorry, did you need something? Was that you I heard singing just then? Oh, yeah, I like to sing and clean. It just passes time quicker. You have an amazing voice. Are you a professional? Who, me? <laughs> no. I work in the music industry. My clients are currently Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Beyonce. I would love to sign you to my label. Get out, you're joking, right? I think you have so much potential. Oh my gosh, I would love to. The world is going to know your name. Mackenzie, this is a great opportunity for you. This is going to make you very wealthy. Wow, of course, I would love to. Let's do it. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, 
much, Encore. One more song. One more song. Thank you guys all so much. That will be my last song. Great job, girls. You killed it. Great performance, Mackenzie. We had a sold out show tonight. All right, I think my limo's out. Gotta go. Madame, your limo is here. Wow, just three years ago, I was homeless, living on the streets, and now I'm selling out arenas. I am so blessed for this opportunity. Oh no, is that a fire truck? I hope everything's all right. I just can't wait for tomorrow to put all those smiles on people's faces again. <gasps> oh my god, my house! Madame, your house is on fire. No! You again? I hope you have fire insurance this time. Oh no! Ugh, this is so boring. Why are we moving so slow? If we don't start moving faster, I'm gonna start screaming. Five, four, three. Uh, sorry? You will be. What? Man, that girl was really scary. What can I do you for, ma'am? Money. Oh, well, you see, I can't just give you money. Money. Yeah, see, that's not really how this works, though. Money. You better give her what she wants, man. And why is that? Uh, because it looks like she's hiding a giant knife behind her back. Well, um, uh, $10,000 it is. Here you go, ma'am. Uh, please don't hurt me. Next. Uh, hi there. Uh, I would like some money, too, please. Do you have an account with us? Do I have a what now? No, I just want you to give me some money. Well, that's not how this works. You need to have an account with us where you store your own money. That literally makes no sense. Why would I give you money and then have to come back to you and ask for it back? I don't know. That's just how it works. You gave that crazy girl a bunch of money just a second ago. That's because she was gonna kill me with that humongous knife. So, please, just give me money, please. No, I cannot do that. <sighs> a few moments later. I wish I had money. I have, like, zero dollars. What can I even buy with zero dollars? Can you buy candy with zero dollars? I mean, I really want some candy. <gasps> Whoa, someone left a bunch of money right here. Must have fallen out of some random sucker's pocket. His money is my property now. It's all mine. My money. Huh? You've been pranked. Huh? What was that? I wasn't listening to you. I'm too busy being the richest person alive. I pranked you. You've been pranked by the ultimate prankster. Dude, what are you talking about? I pranked you with this money. I left it there so you would try and take it. But now you know that it's actually my money. Um, okay. Oh, you probably feel so dumb right now. Wait, so is this money real or fake? No, it's real money. But it's my real money, you foolish little girl. Right, so since it's real money, I suppose. Bye-bye! <gasps> My money! Give that back to me! No, I don't want to! <gasps> Wait, what kind of ice cream is that, Sky? Oh, I, I don't know. I found it in the trash. Hmm, does it taste good? It's ice cream. You're right. That was a silly question for me to ask. Can I have some? Yeah, sure. Oh, man, I wanted that ice cream. You give me my money. What money? Oh, right. I was stealing your money. I totally forgot about that. Hey, wait. No, Sky. I want my ice cream. Uh-uh. You're not going anywhere. No. Okay, I'll take that. There we go. I've retrieved my beautiful cash. I don't even care about your stupid cash anymore. I care about my ice cream. Now it's all gone. Wait, with that cash, I could buy like a million ice creams. Hey, give me that. Aha, it's my money. No, it's mine. Help, help. This guy is trying to steal my money. What? Huh? No, I'm not. Hey, don't steal that little girl's money, you jerk. But, but I wasn't. Yes, yes, he was. That's it, pal. You better leave this little girl alone or else. Or else what? You're under arrest for being a loser. Whoa, Officer George, where did you come from? I was wearing a disguise, Mackenzie. For the last year, I've been going undercover as a random guy in order to make sure that the streets of Brookhaven stay safe and sound. I'm everywhere. I'm everyone. That is so cool. Now, I'm going to take all this money and go spend it on a bunch of ice cream. Great idea, Mackenzie. Hey, hold Hold on a second. I sue you. What? I'm suing you, so that means we have to settle this in court. A court case, you say? Don't mind if I do. Three hours later. We are gathered here today to settle the case of Mackenzie versus this random YouTuber. Now, you both claim that this money belongs to you, correct? Hi! Yes! This money belongs to me! Calm down, Mackenzie. Calm down! Sorry! Yes! It's my money! I swear! That'll be enough of that. Enough of what? Silence! No one questions me in my court. Now I've heard both sides of this case and I'm ready to make a decision. Huh? 
already? I said no questions. Now, after much consideration, I believe the money belongs to Mackenzie. What? I win! I win! Because she is the one holding the money and you are not. Huh? How does that make any sense? It doesn't, yet it makes all the sense in the world. Huh? All right. Goodbye, guys. I can't believe this. My money is all gone and I'm ruined. Vacation! I am going to Hawaii. Later that same evening. I'm rich. I'm rich. I have so much money. I literally have the biggest TV in all of Rogaven. And look at that. I've got a personal chef. Help. I even have a giant helicopter. Moments later. I'm rich, everyone. I'm so a few moments later. Stop the music, everyone! I'm rich! Woohoo! Oh, you hear that, Henry? Looks like that girl's got a ton of dough. Oh, I think you're right, Mel. Isn't that interesting? Yup, it sure is. Later that same evening. Money, money. I'm so rich. I'm gonna buy another helicopter. Be very quiet, Mel. Oh, really? Because I thought it was gonna be really loud. Robbing a house. No, no, no. You need to keep your voice down. If you talk loudly like this, she'll hear you. Are you insane, you fool? Huh? What? Uh, who's there? Oh, uh, no one. Oh, all right. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, finally. Huh? Hold on. You guys didn't bring me my pizza? Pizza? What kind of pizza delivery guys are you? I, I can't believe this. I ordered my pizza like forever ago. Like five minutes ago. And you guys forgot to bring it with you? Oh, I am so angry right now. But we're not pizza delivery guys. You're not? No. We're here to rob you. Oh, cool. Uh, are you not gonna stop us? Oh, no. I've got people who do that kind of stuff for me. Wait, what? Please, put your hands behind your head, both of you. Whoa, where did you come from? I was undercover as a banana. Huh? Hold on, so you guys didn't bring my pizza? Pizza? What kind of pizza delivery guys are you? Wow, that is pretty impressive. Good job. Thanks. Anyways, you are both under arrest. Wait, I'm confused. Why are you here in the first place? I hired Officer George to be my personal bodyguard. Wow, you are way too rich. I know, right? Isn't it awesome? It sure is. The next day. You have done Brookhaven a great service, Mackenzie, by catching the clumsy bandits who have been terrorizing the town for decades. You have gotten rid of all the crime in Brookhaven. Really? Wow. That's right. And because of your service, I would like to reward you with this. Huh? A key? That's lame. Not just a key, Mackenzie. The key to Brookhaven's vault full of money. More? Money? That's right. We're giving you all the money that Brookhaven has to offer. Some people might question this and say, is it a good idea giving all the town's money to a little girl? But I don't care. So have fun. This is awesome. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all of this money. <gasps> I do have one idea. Five hours later. Man, life is awesome. I live in a giant mansion and I'm pretty much in charge of the entire town. And I bought myself the largest cookie in the world. Ever since I bought every single person in Brookhaven a helicopter? Life has been perfect. Mackenzie, Mackenzie, you need to do something. I don't do things, Sky. I pay people to do things for me. But it's about those helicopters that you bought everyone. No one in Brookhaven actually knows how to fly a helicopter, so they're all getting into their helicopters and then immediately crashing. What? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Just crashed my helicopter. Mackenzie, you need to do something. I can't, Sky. My schedule is packed. What? In about five minutes, I'm going to sit on the couch. And at four, my butler's going to feed me my dinner. And then I'm going to be sleeping for about 20 hours after that. You have got to be kidding me, Mackenzie. I know, it's really too bad. I wish I could help, but I can't. Why don't you? Listen up, Mackenzie. We've received new evidence on the case between you and this weird YouTuber guy. Oh, uh, hey. It seems to me that the money actually does belong to him. What? No way, man. He just showed me this video of him holding the money that he took to put on YouTube. YouTube, so I'm gonna need you to give him all his money back. But I already spent most of it. Well then, you're gonna have to give him everything you bought with the money. That includes this house, those helicopters you gave everyone in the town, and that giant cookie that was just delivered to your front door. No, please! Sorry, Mackenzie, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Anyways, gotta go. See ya! Haha, <laughs> looks like I'm the rich one now. No! One week later. Uh tired. Oh, and don't forget to water the sidewalk when you're done with the grass. Please, no. I want to look nice and healthy. I'm losing my mind.
found it. And I missed my money. No, 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 you're ruining my grass. I'm gonna need you to fix the grass while I'm gone. I'm going to a rich person's party where only rich people are invited and I'm rich. Ugh, good grief. Five minutes later. Excuse me? What can I do for you? I'd like to check how much money I have in my bank account. Of course. It should be under the name of Mackenzie. Yes, uh, here it is. You have zero dollars and zero cents available. Darn it! All right, Princess Mackenzie. Now, what fork do we use to eat the salad? Um, the salad fork? Wrong. You would think that, but it's actually the clamming fork. Ugh, why do I have to learn all of these rules about etiquette? Because that's what being a princess is all about. Well, what if I don't want to be a princess? What if I want to be a skateboarder? <laughs> Very funny. Who wouldn't want to be a princess? You get all the nicest clothes, fancy dinners, and of course, Remington, the butler. Did you call for me, sir? Oh, no, Remington. I was just saying your name. Is there anything you need, sir? A glass of sparkling water, some fine waffles, or perhaps a foot massage? Maybe later, Remington. As you wish, sir. Actually, Remington, I would like some of those waffles. Absolutely, your highness. See, why wouldn't you want that? Well, Remington is great and all, but since I'm homeschooled, I'm just locked up in this mansion. You aren't locked up in this mansion. Well then, if I'm not locked up, can I go to the Brookhaven High pool party this weekend? The Brookhaven what now? It's an annual party at the Brookhaven Water Park. All the kids from Brookhaven High are gonna be there, and this year, I heard that Ed Sheeran is performing. Water Parks? High School? Ed Sheeran? Absolutely not. I forbid you to go to this pool party. That isn't fair! Life isn't fair. Now, are you gonna help me eat all the waffles Remington is bringing me or not? Not! Later that night. If my dad won't let me go to the Brookhaven pool party, then I'm just gonna have to run away. But I can't go looking like a princess. Everyone will recognize me. Hmm. Goodbye, Glamour. Hello, Rags. Okay, I have to be very quiet. It's good to be king. I just need to take the keys from my dad. Oh, I want a bigger crown. All right, here goes nothing. Got him. Phew, now I just need to get to the door. Uh oh time to get out of here. Oh, no. What's going on? Remington? Oh, yes, sir? Where is Princess Mackenzie? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I think she has run away. No! The next day... Wow, my first day of regular school. This is just like Riverdale. There's the jocks, and there's the goth kids. And look, some cheerleaders. Hi, my name's Mackenzie. Ew, Ayla, look, this girl is, like, totally poor. Yeah, Ashley, super poor. Where did you get your outfit from? The Brookhaven barn? Yeah, like the Brookhaven barn? No, I uh, got this outfit from my parents. They're farmers. Like they play around in dirt? Like pigs? Uh, I guess. Well, listen up, little piggy. I run this school, and it's in your best interest to stay out of my way. Why don't you go pick on someone your own size, moments later. Wow, what a cool classroom. It's just like on TV. I guess you've never been in a classroom before. Oh, no. Uh, Back in Bloxburg, where I'm from, we do all our classes outside. Huh. Must be nice to get fresh air. Whoa, who's that? Oh, that's Josh. He's the captain of the badminton team and writes really good poetry. Well, he's super cute. Good luck with that one. The only thing Josh loves is his badminton racket and the of BTS. I love BTS. Quiet down, the teacher is here. All right, class, before we start our exciting unit on geology. Uh, what? Rocks are fine. You might even say rocks rock. Uh, that was 
was just a little taste of my stand-up comedy. You can see me at the Chuckle Bucket this weekend. Nobody wants to see your comedy. You're not funny. That's enough out of you, Kyler. Now go to the principal's office right now. Thank God. Anything is better than here. See ya. Now, as I was saying before my awesome joke, we have a new student at Brookhaven High. Everyone welcome, Mackenzie. Hi, everyone. So, Mackenzie, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Um, well, my parents are from Bloxburg, where they are dirt farmers, and I'm not a princess. Kind of a weird way to phrase that, but uh, we're happy to have you here, Mackenzie. Happy to be here. Now, it's time for our geology project. I need everyone to group with their lab partner, Josh. Since Kyler was sent to the principal's office, you'll be Mackenzie's partner. Moments later. So, Josh, uh, Sky tells me that you're the captain of the badminton team. Uh, that's really cool. Yeah, I guess. Badminton's cool, but I really only do it because my dad wants me to. I know what that's like. My dad wants me to be one way, but I really think I'm different. Yeah, it's like what BDS says. Like an echo in the forest, life goes on. That's awesome. I love BTS. Hey, you're pretty cool. Thanks. You know, my dad was a dirt farmer in Bloxburg, too. We have a lot in common. Hey, are you going to the pool party tomorrow? Yeah, I am. Well, maybe we could... All right, everyone, time for lunch. Also, if you want tickets to my comedy show, you can grab them up front. Nobody? Wow, hurtful. All right, everybody out. Wait, Josh, what were you gonna say? Five minutes later. Ugh. I really thought Josh was going to ask me to be his date to the pool party. Well, there's still time before the end of the day. Let's hope so. Man, girly, I'm so hungry. What's for lunch here? Lobster? Caviar? Steak? Dang, what kind of food they have in Bloxburg? We're having hamburgers. What's a hamburger? Whoa, you're weird. Follow me. Hamburgers are $5. Oh, no, I don't have any money. Wow, she doesn't even have enough money for a hamburger. You really are. Poor little piggy, aren't you? Be quiet, Ashley. What? I just think it's hilarious she doesn't have any money. Ease off, Ashley. She probably just forgot her wallet. Here, I'll pay for your lunch. Ugh, whatever. Wow, thanks, Josh. No problem. Uh, hey, I was wondering if you wanted to go to the Brookhaven pool party with me. A uh, duh. Uh. I mean, of course, I would love to. Great, then. It's a date. Yeah. Can this day get any better? Attention, children of Brookhaven! I am King David! My daughter, Princess Mackenzie, is missing! If you see her, please let me know! Uh-oh, Sky, I gotta run! Hey, you! Are you my daughter? Ew, gross! I'm not a princess! Oh, no, 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 no! What am I gonna do? Hey, uh, Mackenzie! What are you doing in here? Just, uh, washing my face! Really? Because you ran off as soon as that king showed up! Okay, Sky. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a dirt farmer from Bloxburg. I'm actually Princess Mackenzie from Brookhaven. Whoa! Why did you lie? Because my dad always keeps me locked up in the house. I just want to be a normal kid for once and go to the pool party. That must be tough being locked up in the house all the time. Do you promise to keep my secret? I promise, girly. Not like it's gonna matter now. My dad is totally gonna catch me. No, he won't. Here, I got an idea. Put this. Perfect! Now all we have to do is just walk out the front door! Dirt Farmer Mackenzie is actually Princess Mackenzie? Ooh, Ashley is gonna love this! Moments later. Are you my daughter? Are you my daughter? Are you my daughter? Dude, I'm a dude, dude! I need to find my daughter! Well, that's certainly not her. My daughter would never wear a paper bag over her head. Oof, that was close! Hey, you wanna have a sleepover at my house today? For the big pool party? Sure, I would love to. Meanwhile. So you mean to tell me that Dirt Farmer Mackenzie is actually Princess Mackenzie? Yup. Oh, she is gonna pay. They will all pay. Man, you're kind of scary, Ashley. I know. Meanwhile. I know it's not much compared to your mansion, but it's home. Oh, no, it's lovely, Sky. So what do you want to do tonight? We can play Roblox, watch TV. Go skateboarding. Did you say skateboarding? Yeah, do you skateboard? No, but I've always wanted to try. A few moments later. Whoa, I'm losing control. Look out. Whoa, you nailed it. Sky, this has been the best day of my life. I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. I'm so happy we met. Well, looks like it's time for bed. I can't wait for the pool party. Dinner.
next day. Wow, I can't believe I get to go to my first ever pool party. Thanks for everything, Sky. No problem. I think I see Josh over there. Go say hi. Oh, hey, Josh. Uh, pretty cool party. I like your shirt. Yeah, I like your hair. You want to go on the slide? I'd love to. Princess Mackenzie, it's time to come home. Dad, how did you find out where I was? I told him. Turns out you spilled the beans while my friend Ava was in the bathroom. Mackenzie, it's time to come home right now. Wait, so you're not actually a dirt farmer? You're a princess? Yeah. You lied to me. What else did you lie about? Do you even like BTS? I do. I love BTS. How can I ever believe you? Get out of here! Josh, wait! Get in the car, Mackenzie! It's time to go! One hour later. <laughs> Why? I just wanted to go to the pool party! Hey, kiddo! Remington made you some waffles! I don't want any waffles! I want to go to the pool party! I'm sorry, dear, but that just won't happen! And why not? Well, let me tell you a story. When I was a kid, my dad, Super King Ronald, sent me to public school. And when I was there, everyone made fun of me. They called me Crown Boy and Royal Nerd. It was the worst I ever felt. And I just want to protect you from being bullied. I'm sorry that happened to you, Dad, but you have to understand. I'm just a kid, and I want to hang out with other kids. And if I get made fun of, well, that stinks, but that's part of being a kid. Uh, I suppose you're right. I guess I've been so worried about protecting you. I didn't let you be a kid. I guess I never gave myself the chance to be a kid. I'll take that waffle now. You won't need it. Huh? Why? Because I think they're serving burgers at the pool party. Wait, really? You mean it? Get in the car. Let's go. Moments later. Good afternoon, Brookhaven Pool Party. I'm Ed Sheeran and it's great to be here. This one's a little tune I wrote for all those princesses who pretend they're not princesses. You're a princess, but you're hiding in rags. You've got a killer smile, but angry at dad. Hey, Josh. Hey. I'm sorry I lied to you about being a princess, but I do like BTS, and I do think you're really cool. Hey, it's okay. I'm sorry I said I never want to see you again, and I think you're super cool, too. So, you want to go ride that water slide now? I would, but I I think your dad's already up there. Woohoo! We're finally a king again! Dad, you're embarrassing me! I swear, I'm gonna start banging my head against the desk if it won't stop. Attention, fellow students. Well, let me rephrase. Hello, students with money, because let's face it, if you're poor, we kind of don't want anything to do with you. Yeah, no offense! Shut up, Ayla! I mean, total offense! Wow, doesn't she have a way of making you feel so included? Any Next morning. Hey, Mackenzie! Could you please come down here? Okay! We need to talk, Mackenzie. Oh, God! Grandma's dead? What? No, don't be silly. 
silly. You're getting a divorce? No, why do you think that? Well, usually when the parents call you in a room to have a talk, it's not normally a good thing. Oh, okay, well, next time we'll word it differently. Mackenzie, your father. Oh, God, here we go. Has gotten a huge promotion at work. Wait, what? Yes, I got a very big raise and a whole new position. So does that mean we're, like, rich now? Well, not just rich, super rich. What? Yeah, like, now we can afford things like a new car and fancier clothes. And if an expensive experiment came up at school, we'd be able to afford it? I don't see why not. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, I gotta go. Where are you running off to? I need to go tell Sky we're rich now. Moments later. Where is she? I don't seem as happy as you. What's up? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's dumb. Well, in that case, have a great day. Hey, Josh, wait up a second. Would you maybe want to go on that date experiment that Ashley and Ayla set up? Like with me, I mean. Like go on a date with me to the date experience? Okay, I'm hearing now how abundant that sounds. The date experience? If you don't want to go, that's totally fine. Like forget I even asked. Like I said, it was silly. Forget it. No, no, I'd love to go. I mean, I would love to go with you. It's just, isn't that supposed to be like a lot of money i'm not sure if i can afford it oh that's no problem i can pay really yeah it looks fun so we should do it yeah for sure wow that's really cool thanks mackenzie so it's a date yeah it's a date a few moments later hey girly wait are you okay no not really but seeing you always makes me feel better so i'm okay now oh no girly tell me what's up tell me because after that i've got something for you. It's my dad. He lost his job. What? Yeah, they told me this morning. He lost his job and now we're poor. We've got no money, girly. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, no, Sky, I am so sorry. We're at risk for losing our house, Kenzie. No! Yeah, I'm too embarrassed to tell anyone else, but I knew that I had to tell you. At least you'll be there for me. Yeah, of course. I've been thinking about the date experience and I'm so glad that you can't afford to do it either, girly. Uh, yeah, me too. Because if one of us could do it and one of us couldn't, that would suck so bad. And I'd feel so left out. You know I would never do anything without you, Sky. I'm totally here for you through this. Ew, I was so afraid to tell anyone, but I knew as soon as I told you, you'd make it better. Thanks, girly. Anytime. Uh, would you just excuse me for a second? I need to run to the bathroom. Meanwhile. No, 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 no. This cannot be happening why is it when the world gives you something they just take it away from someone else i cannot be getting rich the same time my best friend is getting poor and why did i have to open my big mouth and talk about how i didn't have enough money to go on the date experience yesterday now i definitely cannot tell her i'm going after i said i can't afford it thank mackenzie think i really want to go on the date experience with josh but i cannot have sky finding out so i'm just gonna have to pretend that i'm poor that way she won't even assume that i have money to go perfect Hey, uh, you okay, girly? Yeah, of course. I just touched something super gross in science class, so I had to wash my hands. No biggie. Cool. Hey, do you think it would be cool if I came over to watch a movie tonight? Yeah, of course, girly. Anything I can do to help. Kenzie, you're the best. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have you. Don't sweat it. You'll always have me. One hour later. Mackenzie! Hey, Mackenzie! Oh, uh, hey, Josh. Thanks again for offering to take me to the date experience. That was really cool. Yeah, don't mention it. I'm super happy to. Oh, well, I'll see you tonight then. Wait, tonight? Yeah, the first date experience Ashley and Ayla are doing is tonight. You knew that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course I knew that. I totally don't have anything else to do tonight. Uh, Kenzie, is everything okay? Sure it is. What could be wrong? I just need to find something to wear tonight. That's it. I swear. All right, sounds good. Pick you up at eight. Perfect. Sounds good. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Think, McGinty, think. You have two things going on tonight, and neither of them can know your other plans exist. Also, I need to figure out what to wear tonight, because what is currently in my closet is not an option. Hello there. Welcome to Rockstar. What can I help you find today? Hey, could you help me find a super cute outfit to wear tonight for my date with my crush? Of course. That's what they paid me for. Now, tell me a little bit about what is going on for this date, and I'll help you put 
together the perfect outfit for you. Well, we're going on this new date experience that the bullies at my school put together. <gasps> the date experience? Even I've heard about that. Wow, super exclusive. So I'm guessing price is no option. No, as a matter of fact, it's not. Great, let me work my magic. Here, how about you try this on? Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna have to take it home in a bag though. My best friend doesn't know about my plans for tonight. Ooh, drama. I love it. No worries, dear. I'll wrap it up all in a bag for you after you check out. Later that same evening. Ah, uh, this is exactly what I needed, girly. Thanks. Anytime. You know, I'm always here to help. What's the matter then? What do you mean? I mean, why do you keep looking around? I'm not looking around. Yeah, you are. And what the heck is this big bag over here? Where did you get this? And since when can you afford stuff like this? Um, I can't. I just bought it to try it on and then I'm gonna return it. But how does she even have the money to buy it? That store is like super expensive. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Ding dong. I'll get the door. Gosh. Hey, Mackenzie. Sorry I'm a little early, but my mom has stressed the importance of being on time from an early age. But don't worry. I can wait until you get dressed and everything. Oh, um, great. Yeah, that's totally great. Okay, can you just wait here? Can I come in? Um, girly, what is Josh? Guy, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Mackenzie and I are having a girls movie night. What? Mackenzie and I are going to the date experience. What? Girly, I can explain. Say that you lied to me. I can't believe you lied to me. I thought you said you couldn't afford to do that. Wait, you can't afford to do it? Josh, can you just wait outside for a second so I can talk to Sky in private? Yeah, okay, sure. Girly, what is going on? First you tell me you can't afford to do this, and then Josh comes over already to go and saying that you're taking him? And now you're saying you still can't afford it? Just tell me what's going on. It's complicated. The truth, Girly, I need to hear the truth. Fine, here it is. I'm secretly rich. Yeah, right, and I can fly. No, I'm serious. My parents told me this morning my dad got a promotion, and now we're just rich, but then you told me what happened with your dad, so I pretended to be poor to spare your feelings. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? Uh, maybe because you're my best friend, and I would do anything to make you feel better and less alone. By lying to me? Okay, well, now when you put it that way. You didn't have to do that, Mackenzie. You could have told me the truth, and I would have been happy for you. Lying hurts my feelings way more than being rich. Wait, really? Yeah. So you're not so mad? Mad at you for being secretly rich? Nah, you can always buy me stuff. Mad at you for lying? I'll get over it. I'm really sorry, Skye. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Like, anything at all? Well, there is one thing. Moments later. There you guys are. Wait, why are you both dressed like that? Change of plans, Josh. It looks like it's going to be a party of three now. Day 1,920 without having a family. Oh, Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am, when will someone ever adopt me? Someone will adopt you eventually, Mackenzie. I promise. I'm sorry the last family didn't work out, but just remember, there's no such thing as a bad kid, just bad parents. Really? So it's their fault and not mine? Yes, absolutely not your fault, little Mackenzie. Oh, okay, I'll be patient and wait for nice parents then. Meanwhile... Hey, honey, I found some coupons in the newspaper for some children's clothes. Oh, perfect timing, Joe. I've never been so excited in my life. Today's finally the day we welcome a child into our lives. I've dreamt about this day my entire life. But Mary, are you sure we can afford a child right now? They are so expensive. Maybe we should just wait until next year? Ugh, Joe, that's what you said last year too. There's never going to be a perfect time. We just have to do it. You know what? You're right. I guess I'm just scared that our child won't like us because we're poor. Don't worry about that, Joe. Money isn't everything. We have something way more valuable than money anyways. Huh? Have you been hiding diamonds from me our entire marriage? No, you goofball. Not diamonds. We have love. Love is way more important than money. You're right, honey. Come on. Let's go to the adoption center. Meanwhile. Honey, have you seen my new Gucci flip-flops? I can't find them anymore. Ugh, woman, you can't just keep losing all the things I buy you. Do you think money just grows on trees? Haha, <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course it does. We're filthy rich. Anyways, what should we do today, Jeff? Well, I can text Kim Kardashian and we can go shopping with her. No, 
we did that last week already. Mm, we could just take a private jet to Mexico. Ugh, I've been to Mexico like a hundred times. Boring. Ugh, well, I'm busy right now trying to make some money moves. We need something to distract you so you'll stop bothering me all day. Aha, I got it. Why don't we adopt a child? Whoa, Jeff, that would be kind of fun. A little kid running around this house would be so cool. Plus, I feel like I'd be like the best mom ever. I'd buy the kid whatever it wanted. With your money, of course, though. You'll have to take care of it mostly, though. I'm always away on business trips making money. Oh, whatever. We could just hire a nanny to look after it when it gets annoying. All right, then. It's settled. Let's go to the adoption center. Aw, look at that poor family over there. They're probably going to the homeless shelter to get some breakfast. Jeff, we should give them some money. I want to start giving back to the less fortunate. No, honey. It looks like they're heading into the adoption center. Hey, are you guys looking to adopt a child too? Yeah, we are. Our lives have been pretty boring lately, so we wanted to get a child. Children sure are fun. We finally saved up enough money to get one. Yup, $100 took us years of saving. $100? I make that in like one second. I feel bad for the child that gets adopted by them. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh my gosh, hi guys. Aw, are you just the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh, Jeff, she's adorable. I want it. Now, now, Kimberly, she definitely is adorable, but let's give all the other children a chance to. What's your name, little girl? My name's Mackenzie. Oh, hey, guys. It looks like you've all met Mackenzie. Sorry, I was just upstairs cleaning. How can I help you guys today? Hi, I'm Mary, and this is my husband, Joe. We're looking to adopt a child today. My name's Jeff. Me and my wife, Kimberly, are looking to adopt a child as well. Can we see all the other children before we make a decision on who we want? I only want the best for my wife. Yeah, about that. Unfortunately, Mackenzie's the only child we have in stock right now. We won't be getting any more until next year. Next year? I cannot wait that long. Jeff, do something about this. I'll give you $1 million if you give me Mackenzie right now. Well, this is adoption lady ma'am we certainly don't have a million dollars but we do have a lot of love to give ha <laughs> gross that's pathetic love won't buy her all the expensive things that jeff and i could buy her plus why would mackenzie want to live with homeless people hey we aren't homeless we have a home it's just probably a lot smaller than yours whoa i've never had two families fight over me before this is awesome Settle down, guys, please. The only fair way to settle this is to let Mackenzie decide who gets to adopt her. This calls for an adoption off. Mackenzie will spend one day with each of you guys. And at the end, she will pick which family she wants to adopt her. Oh, come on. What a waste of time. We already know Mackenzie's going to pick us. Hey, not so fast. Once Mackenzie sees how much we care for her, she will pick us. So it's settled. Which one of you guys would like to go first? Ugh, let the poor people go first. We will save the best for last. Fine by us. Come on, Mackenzie. Let's go have fun. Yay, I love fun. Welcome to your future home, Mackenzie. We don't have a room for you since there's only one room in this house. So you could just sleep with us in our bed. That's no problem. At least I have a bed. So what are we going to do today? Well, your dad and I have to go to work right now. But after that, us three can have some family fun. Oh, okay. What do you guys do for a job? Your father and I, we beg on the side of the street for spare change. Usually by the end of the night, we have enough money to buy a bird. Oh, that's a very interesting job. Yeah, we love it. We get to meet all kinds of cool people. Well, what will I do when you're at work? I can't stay home alone. I'm only five. You'll come with us, silly. Plus, we can't really afford a babysitter anyways. Hey, Mary, since we have a child now, maybe we'll get more money at our job. Because these people will feel bad for the child. Oh, Joe, we'll be grateful for any amount of money we get. Come on, guys, let's go now. Two very boring minutes later. Well, what do we do now? Well, we usually just sit here all day and wait for people to walk by so we can ask them for money. Maybe if I showed off the cool dance moves that the adoption lady taught me, I can make mommy and daddy more money. Hey, guys, watch this. Whoa, Mary, look at her go. Whoa, our daughter's so talented. Oh, my gosh, this is amazing. How are you doing this? You should go on America's Got Talent. You would win. Hello there, kind sir. Would you happen to have any spare 
a change? Yes, anything would really help us out a lot. Yeah, I do. Here's 20 bucks. Wow, thank you so much. I'm going to tell all my friends to come here and check this out. Wow, Mackenzie, this is more money than we make in an entire month. We are so blessed to have you. This is so much fun. I can't wait until they see all my other cool moves. No way, you have other moves too? Approximately 10 hours later. Holy moly, Mackenzie, you are a superstar tonight. We made $200 in one night. I can't believe this. We need to go celebrate. What do you say we go get some burgers and french fries? Yay, burgers and french fries. This is the best day ever. So why don't you guys have normal mommy and daddy jobs? Well, Mackenzie, your mom and I realized that money isn't everything. And if we worked normal jobs, we wouldn't be able to spend every second of every day together. And now since you're here, Kenzie, we couldn't ask for any more. Our family is finally complete. Yay, family forever. Come on, let's go home and watch movies and eat snacks. After tonight, I think we can finally take a vacation. So what kind of movies do you guys have? Frozen? Moana? Oh, honey, those movies are too new for us. We can't afford them. All I have is a Cinderella movie my mom gave to me from back when I was a kid, just like you. Aw, I want to watch Frozen. Just give Cinderella a chance. I promise that you will like it more than you think. And if you don't like it, your dad and I will save up some money and buy you Frozen. Deal? Okay, deal. One hour later. <laughs> was old doesn't mean it wasn't good cinderella is my new favorite movie i knew you'd like it all right mackenzie it's getting late it's time for you to get some sleep we have to be up bright and early tomorrow to take you back to the adoption center so the rich family can have a day with you no i don't want to go back i want to stay here with you guys oh but it's part of the deal mackenzie once you spend a night with the rich family, if you still like us more, you can come live with us forever. Okay, I guess that's fair and square. Good night. The following day. Bye, Mom and Dad. I'll miss you. That's not your Mommy and Daddy. We are. Ugh, they have brainwashed you. Come on, Mackenzie. Let's get out of here. Good luck, you guys. Wait, is this your car? Obviously. And there's a lot more where that came from if you choose us to be your parents. I'll buy you your own tomorrow, Mackenzie, to celebrate you joining our family. Uh, I'm only five. I can't drive yet. What's your point? We'll buy for you anyways. Come on, hop in. Let's go. So what are we going to do today, guys? Ask your mother. I got to go on a business trip right now. Someone's got to make the money around here. But I thought we were going to spend the day together, Dad, so we could get to know each other. Oh, Mackenzie, we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. All right, I'll see you guys later. Guess it's just you and me now. So, what do you want to do today? Shopping? Get our nails done? Drive in my Lamborghini and laugh at poor people in the streets? Well, those all seem fun and everything, except the last part. But I was hoping we could go get some ice cream and go for a walk and get to know each other. Uh, boring. Why would you ever want to walk anywhere when we have cars? <sighs> I'm taking you to the salon with me. I think you need a new hairdo. Aw, but I like my hair. Hello? Can I get some help around here? Oh, hey there, girlfriend. How can I help you today? Uh, we're not girlfriends. Don't act like you know me because I'm not your friend. Anyways, my daughter needs a new haircut. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, all right. It will take about three hours. Come on, have a seat over here and we can get started. What? Three hours? That's not fun, Mom. Well, you can't have fun if you look the way you do. Life is so much more fun when you're pretty like me. But remember, Mackenzie, beauty is pain. Oh, man. Okay, then. Three hours later. Ta-da! We're finally done, Mackenzie. How do you like your new hair? Oh, no. It's awful. Why did you cut it like this? I want my old hair back. <gasps> no way. Your old hair was even more awful. You don't even know what you're talking about. My other mommy and daddy would never make me change for other people. All right, Mom. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go home, Mackenzie, so I can show you your new room. Can we stop and get some ice cream first? Of course, anything for you, sweetie. Wow, she really does just buy me whatever I want. And maybe a new toy? I'll buy you anything you want. I think she's just buying me whatever I want, so I'll pick her to be my mommy. Hey, Mom, can you buy me a new gun? Well, duh, of course. My daughter has to protect herself somehow. I don't think this mommy really loves me. Come on, let me show you to your room. How do you like it? Whoa, this is the biggest room I've ever seen. There's so many toys and things to do. Wow, this is a dream come true. All right, Mackenzie, I'm going out tonight with my girls to the club. You stay here and... 
just keep yourself busy, okay? But, Mom, I thought we were supposed to spend the day together. It's okay, Mackenzie. We will have many days to spend together after you pick us. Now, sleep tight. I gotta go. Good night. Oh, man, I can't believe my mom, Kimberly, thinks she can buy my love. My other mommy taught me that money isn't everything, and I think she was right. Even though I have all these things and this big house to live in, I feel so lonely. Oh, well, at least it's really comfy. The following day. Welcome back, everyone. So now that you have both shared Mackenzie for one day, it is now time for Mackenzie to choose who she wants to be her forever family. Wow, this is really hard. Mary and Joe are really loving and caring people, but they are really poor, and I will have to work really hard to help support them. Well, on the other hand, Kimberly and Jeff are really rich, so I'll never get bored. But I don't feel like they love me, and they were only trying to buy my affection. Hmm. This is really tough. But after careful consideration, I have selected a winner. Yay, I knew she would pick us. Take that, losers. Um, excuse me, but Mackenzie hasn't picked a winner yet. Whatever, I know it'll be us. I pick Mary and Joe to be my family. I love you guys so much, and we're gonna have such an amazing life. Us families stick together. Are you kidding me? What about all the nice gifts I bought you and your new hair? What a waste of money and time. You are. Ugh, Jeff, come on. Let's get out of here. Phew, thank God. I honestly didn't want a child anyways. Oh my gosh, Mackenzie. I can't believe you picked us. Are you sure, though? They have so much more money. And your father and I, well, we're just trying to make ends meet. Your guys' love means more to me than anything money could buy. I don't need fancy things when all I've ever dreamed of is having a mommy and daddy just like you guys. Come on, sweetheart. Let's get out of here. <laughs> being the only kid here. But the endless stream of TikToks on my For You page really does take the sting out of it. Jeez, I never realized how slow the Wi-Fi was when there's other kids here using it. I really could get used to this life. Hey, kiddo, what are you up to? Oh, you know, just soaking in how fast the internet is working now that I'm the only kid here. Who knew there would be perks to never getting adopted? Yeah, about that, how would you like to help me work on a super fun project? I don't know. That's what teachers normally say when they're about to assign something super hard. And they're trying to make it sound fun, but what the heck? Why not? I don't have anything better to do, so what is it? Here's the deal, Mackenzie. This super cute guy asked me out on a date tonight. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy for you! Wait, I don't know why that has anything to do with me, though. Thanks. The thing is, the date is tonight, and I really want to go, but since you're the last kid here, I can't just leave you alone to fend for yourself. Why not? I'm tougher than I look. I'm serious. So we need to find a way for you to be adopted by the end of the day today so I can go on my date. <laughs> what is so funny? Why do I sense that you're being mean? Oh, you just kill me. Too funny. I mean, there is no way I'll ever be adopted by the end of the day. Come on, what makes you say that? Uh, facts? I mean, come on, look around. I'm literally the only kid left, which means no one else wanted me and probably for a reason. Oh, I know. Don't say that. You're great. Someone would be so lucky to adopt you. Hey, I know that. You just need to convince them about how amazing I am. But still, I don't think anything's gonna happen by the end of tonight. Well, I'm not ready to give up. Meanwhile... Ooh, I sure hope this is enough to afford an adoption form. I have been saving my tips from the diner all year. Okay, here we go. 20, 40, 60, 80. Yes, I finally have enough. My dream of having a child is gonna come true. Woohoo! Meanwhile... Ugh, I am so bored. I don't have anyone to go shopping with or to take out on my private jet and fly to my private island. What am I supposed to do with my afternoon? Hmm, I could go to the store and buy everything they have in stock just for the fun of it. Nah, ooh, I could try and find the limit on my unlimited credit card. No, I did that last week. I know, I'll just go adopt a kid to entertain me. I can't have a baby myself in one afternoon, so might as well go pick one up. The next day. Okay, so I think I have a plan to get you adopted. I am all ears. Literally, since you took my phone away, I have nothing better to do. How about we go in the street and I march you up and down the main drag with a sign that says free kid. Huh? How about no? Do you have another plan that doesn't involve turning me into a homeless person or make it seem like you're giving away a free puppy? Uh, no, not at the moment. See, this is pointless. I knew we were never going to find someone to adopt me by the end of the night so you can go on your date. Hello? Oh, hi there. I'm sorry, I think you're...
you're in the wrong place. This is the adoption center for children. The Brookhaven shelter is down the street. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not homeless. You're kidding, because your clothes sure state that you are. No, actually, I'm here to adopt a child. Oh my gosh, don't make me laugh so hard with all my Botox. You cannot be serious. There isn't possibly anything you could provide for a child because you can't afford anything. Anything nice, at least. And let's face it, if it's not nice, it's not worth having. What? That's not true. Money doesn't have anything to do with what kind of life I could provide for a child. I have plenty of love to give and can teach them a lot of valuable life lessons that you can't put a price on. Um, excuse me, as the trained adoption professional, do I maybe get a say here? Um, or me, the kid who's actually being adopted? Why, of course, of course. How much for this child? I have an unlimited credit card, so just name your price. I'm afraid that that's not how this works, ma'am. And yeah, my name is Mackenzie and not this child. Oh, your name doesn't matter, dear. Okay, okay, you can't just buy your way to the top in an adoption. But why? I've been doing it my whole life. Well, you can't. Here, so this is what we'll do. You can each spend a day with Mackenzie. Ooh, which will actually allow me to go on my day tonight. Yay, me. And at the end of that time, Mackenzie will decide who she wants to live with permanently. I'll give you a thousand dollars to let me go first. All right, then. I do need some money for my date anyway. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. Yeah, this is like my mansion in three years, but this place doesn't have an elevator. Like, what is up with that? I may have to upgrade. Upgrade? This place is bigger than Cinderella's castle. You don't really have a lot of toys or anything in here. What made you want to adopt a kid when you don't have anything for kids? I don't know. I'll just buy you whatever you need, I guess. Is buying makes your answer to everything? Uh, duh. How else do you fix a problem without just throwing money at it? I don't know. Team building exercises? <laughs> That's for losers. Hmm, I think you're gonna need a makeover. No offense, but your haircut has a very done-at-home feel, and that color is obviously natural. We cannot have that. But what's wrong with the way I look? Oh my god, did I not just explain that to you? Listen, just being rich isn't enough. You need to look the part and prove that you are. Oh, okay, so uh, what do you have in mind? Moments later. Um, She's just helping someone else. We don't care about other people. She's Michaela. It's Mackenzie. Sorry, sorry. I was on the phone with another customer. How can I help you both? No excuses. Okay, so I would like a new hairstyle from my daughter. Something that will make her stick out. But I don't want to stick out. I like the way my hair is. Well, it doesn't matter what you like. What matters is how you look and how that reflects on me. Don't worry, dear. You are going to love your new look. A few moments later. And voila. There you go. What? What did you do? I look like a cherry snow cone. Oh, I love it. She is definitely going to stand out now. Yeah, but not in a good way. Moments later. Where are we going now? somewhere where we don't see too many people. We are just gonna go hang out on the yacht for a little bit. What yacht? Wait, that yacht? That's yours? Yeah, of course. What did you think? I'm gonna own a rowboat? Whoa, this is so cool. You have a yacht. It almost makes up for the fact that my hair is pink. So what do you want to do? Ooh, maybe we can try and skip rocks into the water. We can see who gets the most bounces. Um, no, that sounds lame. You go play and I'm gonna shop on my before I need to bring you back to the adoption center. Oh, okay. Later that same evening. Um, Mom, I don't really feel that good. I'm kind of sore from playing, and I don't know why, but my skin feels like it's on fire. Oh, my God. You look like a beet with pink hair. We cannot have anyone see you like this. Oh, my gosh. Is it bad? It feels really bad. Whoopsies. I didn't realize you need to put sunscreen on a kid in the summer to keep them from burning. Um, of course you do. That's a parent's job. Otherwise, I'll just look like a lobster. I mean, look at my fair skin. Okay, okay. The important thing now is we need to get you somewhere away from the public eye. This is not a good look. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that good either. Ow, ow, it hurts. I need to get out of the sun. It's stinging. Ah! Oh, that is so much better. But it still stings. Well, here we go. Home sweet home. I'm sure it's not as big as the other mom's house. Shh. 
Are you kidding? I don't care about that. All I care about is that I'm out of the sun. Preferably forever. So, what do you want to do tonight and get to know each other? Look, I really wish we could just stay home and just play little games to get to know each other. Ooh, I love little games. I do too, but unfortunately, I have to work at the diner tonight. I don't have enough money to just stay home and give up a shift. Oh, so I'm just going to stay here alone? No, of course not. I would never leave you by yourself. You can come with me. Really? Wow, I've never gone to work at a diner before. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well, considering you get free food, I bet you'll love it. Free food? Say no more. I'm in. Moments later. Here you go, my lovely daughter. You might just very well be my favorite customer. Oh my gosh, you didn't say I'd be getting burgers. This is the best night ever. Well, hold on to that statement because I gotta go wait on some more customers. I don't mind. Just because you have a kid doesn't mean you have to give up working. I think your job is really cool. Really? No one has ever called my job cool before. Well, I'm pretty sure giving out free burgers is one way to make it happen. Later that same evening. That was a really fun night. Boy, am I a whipped. I am exhausted. I just want to go to bed. Yeah, about that. Oh, no. Do we not sleep here? Please don't tell me I have to go back into the sun. No, no, not at all. It's just I only have one bed. I'm really sorry, but you'll have to share a bed with me. I can't afford to get you your own bed just yet. Are you kidding? Like a sleepover? I love that. Meanwhile. You see, this is what I almost imagined having a mom would be like. That one I could lay in bed and snuggle with. Aw, this is all I could ever want to, Mackenzie. Thanks for such an awesome day. I wish I didn't have to go back to the adoption center tomorrow. The next day. Uh, there you two are. It's about time. I have been waiting nearly five minutes. I guess you're too poor to afford a watch. Okay. Okay, now that Mackenzie got to spend with the night with each of you, which, by the way, allowed me to go on my date, which went, uh, amazing. Thank you very much. Okay, where was I going with that? Um, can you just get to the point? Oh, yeah, Mackenzie, it's time to decide who you want to live with. Remember, Mackenzie, I can buy you whatever your heart desires, and you'll never have to work a day in your life. I know I would have a really cool life with you. I'd probably get to travel a lot and see some really neat things. All right, then. So it's settled. But I choose poor mom. What? Really? Me? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't care about the money. I just want a mom who will love me for me. And not only teach me the value of things, but also to teach me how to work hard. And that not everything just gets handed to you. And besides, there's the fact that you practically cooked me alive. Yeah, all the money and yet you couldn't buy some sunscreen. Yo, Holly, this party is lit. Thanks for letting me bring my horse. She has separation anxiety. I can't leave her alone at all these days. <laughs> no problem, Jimmy. My dad's out on a business trip right now making me lots of money so we can do whatever we want in this house. Yeah, Holly always throws the best parties. And her house is humongous. Guys, everyone come upstairs. Logan is about to jump from Holly's bedroom into the pool. No way, bro. I gotta see this. Come on, horsey. Let's go. We can't miss it. Stacy, you better record this so I can post it on my TikTok. All right, everyone. I want to hear you guys chanting my name. Logan! 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 Here goes nothing! Get it, boys! Come on, guys. Jump in. Why not? YOLO! Woo! You ready, Orsie? <laughs> Let's do this! Yippee! best for last and that's me of course i'm the best already see you down there cannibal come on holly jump uh i don't know i just got this gucci outfit yesterday and i don't want to ruin it oh come on holly just use your daddy's credit card and buy another one uh yeah i guess i could do that i don't know i'm just kind of scared of heights come on holly don't be a wussy holly 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 oh uh, fine okay i'll do it maybe if i do it i'll impress logan then i'll ask me to be his girlfriend all right here goes nothing ah! party! meanwhile holly is gonna be so happy when she sees i'm home early from my business trip i'm just so busy making money all the time i'm never gonna spend quality time with her my little holly must be so bored all alone in our huge mansion all by herself this is so much fun i love when my dad's away on business trips holly i'm home Oh my gosh, what a tarnation is going on! <gasps> Dad, what are you doing here? You said you were gonna be away until next week! Ooh! Well, I felt awful 
for leaving you home all by yourself. So I thought I would be a nice dad and come home early to surprise you. Awkward. Jimmy, would you please shut up? Everyone get out of my house right now. Dad, what the heck? Why are you being such a buzzkill? It's not my fault for throwing a party. It's your fault for coming home early. I said everyone out now. And why the heck is there a horse in my swimming pool? Mr. Sprinkles! Come on, Mr. Sprinkles, let's get out of here! <laughs> Later. See you later, Holly. The party was fun while it lasted. Bye, Stacy. Sorry it had to end that way. I'll text you later, girl. Later, Linda. See ya. Logan, call me later, maybe? Meh, probably not. No, Dad, you ruined all my chances I had with Logan. Why'd you have to do this to me? Holly, you know you are not allowed to have any parties while I'm away. But that's the stupidest rule ever. How do you expect me not to invite anyone? That's it, Holly. You're grounded for a week. What? That's ridiculous. Why'd you have to come home so early? I don't want to see you or spend time with you. As a matter of fact, I hate you, poop head. <gasps> Do you mean everything you just said? Yes. Even the poop head part? Especially the poop head part. Uh, that's it, Holly. No one calls me a poop head and gets away with it. Get in the car right now. Make me. Fine, then. I will. Put me down, Dad. Go away. Somebody help me. This creepy old man. No one can hear you, Holly. Stop yapping. Where are you taking me? Somewhere I should have taken you a long time ago. <gasps> the Gucci store? Dad, how did you know? We're here. Wait a second. This is in the Gucci store. What are we doing at the adoption center? It's a surprise. Follow me. Ooh, I love surprises. Hey there, guys. Are you here to adopt a brand new child? No, I'm here to put my daughter Holly up for adoption. <gasps> You're doing what? I said what I said. You're too much of a spoiled brat for me to handle anymore. I'm done with you. Well, I'm done with you first. You don't deserve a perfect daughter like me. I don't need you. You need me. Well, sir, we would gladly take her off your hands for you. You see, we're running really low on stock here at the adoption center. We only have one child left. Perfect. I don't care what you do with her or where she goes. Just take her off my hands for me. Certainly, sir. See you never, Holly. Bye. Well, hi. Holly, welcome to the adoption center. My name is... I don't care what your name is. Don't talk to me. I'll be over there and don't come bother me either. Whoa, she is a feisty one. I'm gonna need to work on her. Ugh, I'll show that old man. I'll find a family who is better and richer than he is. Whoa, you're pretty. Ew, do you mind? Your breath smells like farts. Get away from me, peasant. Hi, I'm Lucas. Do you want to be friends? Ew, not a chance I'd want to be friends with you. Oh, okay. Piggyback ride! What the heck? Get off of me, you lunatic! Hi there, I'm looking to adopt a child today. Do you have any in stock? Why, yes, we do. Are you looking for a boy or a girl? It's always been a dream of mine to raise a little girl. Perfect, let me introduce you to Holly right this way. Oh boy, I'm excited. Ugh, get this creature off! Lucas, what do we say about jumping onto people's backs without permission? Uh, you said... I forgot. It's not nice to jump on people without their permission. Now please get off of her, Lucas. Oh, man. Okay, fine. Ugh, now I'm gonna have to take a bath in Lysol and disinfect myself. Ew, who is this woman? Psst, sorry. She's a little rude. We're still working on that. Oh, no, that's no problem. It must be hard for these kids when their parents gave them up. Holly, this is Susan. She's interested in adopting you. Do you have any questions for her to see if she would be a good match for you? No, Holly, don't go. Stay here with me so we can be best friends forever. Nope, no questions. Just get me the heck out of here and away from this crazy kid. OMG, yippee! My dreams have finally come true. My very own daughter. Lady, relax. Why are you acting so childish? Just take me home. Good luck with her, Susan. You'll need it. All right, so where's your Lamborghini parked? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Uh, what's so funny, woman? I don't have a Lamborghini, but I do have two bus tickets for us. A bu 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 bus Oh, a heck no. I refuse. Not a chance. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you and I can walk home together instead. On second thought, give me those bus tickets. All aboard. Ugh, whatever. Hopefully your house is nice at least. Okay, Holly, my house is just up on the right. <gasps> is it this one? It's so big. Nope, not this one. <gasps> then it must be this one. I love it. Almost, but not quite. And we're home. Thank you, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. This must be a joke, right? This is your house? Yup, I lived here my whole life. No, no, no. This is 
the worst nightmare ever. I've been adopted by a poor person. No! You know, Holly, it might not be the biggest house, but it is very homey. Come on in. I guess I have no other choice. So, this is my dining room. Gross. This here is the kitchen. Ew. And right beside here, we have the living room. Disgusting. And in here, we have my bedroom. Wait a second. There's only one bed in here? Where am I supposed to sleep? Oh, well, I was thinking you'd sleep on the floor in the living room. Oh, heck no. There is no way I'm sleeping on the floor. I am a princess, and I deserve to be treated like one. I demand you give me your bedroom. Well, I guess I can sleep on the floor instead. As long as that makes you happy. I wouldn't say happy, but I'd be less mad. All right, it's settled then. I'll sleep on the floor. Good choice, Susan. You know you can call me mom, right? Yeah, right. In your dreams, old lady. Oh, ouch. Do I really look that old? Yeah, you look older than my grandma, and she's dead. Anyways, what's there to do for fun around here? Well, I'm glad you asked. How about you and I snuggle on the couch together and share a bowl of popcorn and watch a Disney movie? How does that sound? That's Sounds like the worst night of my life. I'm going to bed. See ya. Well, this certainly wasn't what I imagined having a daughter would be like. But I'm sure she'll open up to me soon. I just need to give her some time. 12 o'clock midnight. There is no way that Holly the Rich Girl will spend another night in this sad excuse of a house. If you can even call it that. My shoe boxes are bigger than this place. That's it. I'm getting out of here. I just need to sneak past that old lady. And by the sound of her snore, she probably won't even hear me leaving. <sighs> Oh, she sounds like a dying whale. Freedom! All right, now all I gotta do is meet some rich friends at the club, and hopefully one of them will let me crash at their place. Wait, does that say free Gucci on the van? Say less! The only thing I love more than Gucci is free Gucci. Hello, is anyone in there? Where's my free Gucci? Oh, hello there, pretty girl. You look like you have an expensive taste. Oh, you know me too well. So where's this free Gucci you speak of? It's at my house just down the street from here. Oh, okay. Well, why are we just standing here? Take me to it. Oh, yes, sir. Of course. Just jump in the van. Oh, you don't have to ask me twice. Free Gucci, here I come. That was easier than stealing candy from a baby. Meanwhile. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I just had a terrible nightmare that my brand new daughter, Holly, was kidnapped. I better go check on her just to be safe. Oh, Holly, where are you, Holly? Oh, my gosh. How could this be? My nightmare has come true. My little Holly has disappeared. I've got to go find her. Holly, I'm coming for you. Meanwhile. This is your house? It looks like a barn. Yep, this is my house. You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. I'm just here for my free Gucci. Great. Well, just get out of the car and follow me. All right, so where's the free Gucci? The Gucci isn't here. Ah, I see. This is probably one of those treasure hunt things where I've got to go find the Gucci somewhere that's hidden, right? No, you idiot. <gasps> there's no free Gucci, so you lied to me? Of course there's no Gucci, you imbecile! Why would anyone just give away free Gucci to a stranger? Well, if there's no free Gucci, then why'd you bring me here? I brought you here so I could kill you! I'm tired of rich brats like you who shop at Gucci, so I'm getting rid of you one by one. Wait, no, I don't even like Gucci. I've never even shopped there before. Please don't kill me. You idiot, you're wearing Gucci right now! Gucci shirt today. Oh, wait. All my clothes are Gucci. Whoopsies. Any last words you want to say before I kill you? <gasps> Mom! Huh? Mom? What are you talking about? Get away from my daughter, you criminal! <laughs> oh my gosh, Mom! You came to save me! No one's ever come to save me before. Well, I've never really needed saving before. But thank you so much, Mom. Come on. Why don't we go home and snuggle and watch Disney movies together? <gasps> you want to watch Disney movies with me? Later that night. Mom, Frozen is the best movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Can we watch it again, please? Why don't we watch Frozen 2? Get out. There's a second one. This is the best day of my life. Uh, who could it be this late at night? Come in. Doors unlocked. Holly! Huh? Dad, what are you doing here? Holly, I'm so proud of you. You passed.
pass the test. Huh? What test? Susan over here is a paid actor. I paid her to come adopt you so you could get a taste of what it's like to be poor. Wait, so you aren't actually poor? Oh, no, I'm really poor. I was just doing your dad a favor. We go way back. Anyways, like I was saying, I wanted you to learn what life is like without money so you could appreciate what family means and being there for each other and you pass the test. So the criminal who Susan killed was a paid actor too? Oh, uh, no. The person that Susan killed was actually a real criminal. Great work, Susan. Thanks for saving my daughter. All in a day's work. So what do you say, Holly? Let's go back home together? Wait, Dad. I actually like it here with Susan. She's helped me appreciate all the little things in life, like snuggling and watching Disney movies together. And she taught me that you don't need money to be happy. Hanging out with Susan has been some of the happiest moments of my life. Dad, I want to stay here with Susan. Wait, really? Sorry, guys. Being rich, let's get out of here. Hey Mackenzie, are you doing okay? You look a little down. I guess so. Come on, what's bothering you? I just can't believe I have to spend another Christmas in here. I just want to be adopted. Hey, you're spending Christmas in here with me really that bad. That's not what I mean, Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am. But I'm the last kid here. Why doesn't anyone want to adopt me? That's not how it works, Mackenzie. These things take time. Excuse me, my husband and I would like to do a good deed this holiday season and bring a needy child into our very large, luxurious house. This child will be given the best of everything, guaranteed. So, do you have any children available for adoption? Well, you two came in at the perfect time. We actually do have one child left ready to be adopted. And she happens to be standing right next to me. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. Mackenzie has been at the adoption center ever since she was an itty bitty baby. Oh my God, she's adorable. I'll take her, I'll take her, honey. Can we have her? Please, 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 please. Yeah, of course, anything for you. Yay, I'm gonna have a mommy and a daddy. Hi there, Mackenzie. Yeah, we're gonna take you on a sled ride and get you a 25 foot tree to put in your brand new room. And we're gonna have a grand Christmas dinner. Just wait until you see it all. Whoa, a 25 foot tree? That's a billion jillion times bigger than me. I've never seen a real Christmas tree before. Can we take her home yet? Yeah, I wanna go on a sleigh ride. Wow, I uh, can't believe this day is here. I never thought Mackenzie would get adopted for Christmas. Let me get started with the paperwork and she'll be all yours. Why don't you two go have a seat on the bench over there? Gladly. Oh, honey, this is so exciting. Hello? I was wondering if there's any children here for us to adopt. Oh my goodness, are you such a little doll? She's precious. Is she available for adoption? Yeah, uh, this is Mackenzie. Oh, you're nice. Um, excuse me, we're actually in the process of adopting Mackenzie, so go look somewhere else. Oh, and by the way, you should be ashamed of your outfit. I wouldn't wear that to go take out the trash. Never mind adopt a child. Yeah, with the way you're dressed, how do you guys think you're going to be able to afford Mackenzie? I'm sorry, but you can't just judge someone simply based on how they're dressed. It's what's on the inside that counts. Um, yes, I can. And adoption lady, can you please tell these rather wholesome and simple people that Mackenzie is already accounted for? Well, technically since you guys haven't signed the paperwork yet, Mackenzie is still available for adoption. Yes! But that is unfair. We can provide better for her and buy her cooler things. Wait just a minute. I can settle this right here, right now. We will buy Mackenzie from you. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's not really how this adoption thing works. It's not like buying a puppy. Oh, I can be a puppy. Woof! Alrighty then, Mackenzie, how would you like a million dollar check? Ooh! Excuse me, that's not really playing fair. You don't need to play fair when you're rich. Yeah, and how would I cash a check anyways? I'm just a kid. Here is what we're gonna do. Even though I'll say I've never had this situation come up before in all of my years here, let alone the week before Christmas, this is quite a pickle. Ooh, I love pickles! Here is what we're gonna do. Since both of you want Mackenzie, but only one of you can have her, you each get to spend a day with her leading up to Christmas. Whoever Mackenzie chooses to be her parents will be it. All right. Sounds fair. Ugh, usually having money means we don't have to do things fair. Well, how does that sound, Mackenzie? Yay, I can have two families for Christmas. What more can a girl want? Since you guys were here first, you guys get to have the day with Mackenzie first. Whoa, is this your house or are we at a museum? Welcome home, Mackenzie. The entire adoption center could fit in here twice. 
I'm glad you like it. Why don't you head upstairs and check out the rest of the house? Oh my god, oh my god, look at this white couch. It looks like a cloud. Hey, hey, Mackenzie, keep up the couch. It's not for sitting. Well, what else would it be for? Well, it's very expensive, so that couch is just for looking. Oh, okay, uh, whoa, a fireplace. Can we make s'mores? Don't go near the fireplace, Mackenzie. That's also just for looking. I don't get it. You guys have so many cool things. Why can't you touch them? Well, the thing is, when you have nice, expensive things, you want to just admire them from a distance. You understand? Well, not really, but I trust you. Moments later. There you go, Mackenzie. Now you're all set in your new Christmas dress. That's great, but I can't breathe in this thing. It's crushing my ribs and making me itchy. Most expensive things do that. You'll be fine. But it's uncomfy. Can I take it off? <gasps> Mackenzie, do you have any idea how expensive that is? Now come on, the chef has prepared dinner. Meanwhile, dinner, yay! What did you prepare for us this evening, chef? This evening, I made lobster with the drawn butter. How does that sound, Mackenzie? Yuck, I don't like lobster. And anyways, I'm allergic to shellfish. Can I maybe have some pizza or a burger instead? A happy meal food? I think not. Mackenzie, this lobster is very expensive. And our chef went through a lot to prepare it for us. So you are going to eat it. But no bucks. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just have hives later then. Suck it up. You'll be fine. Well, I mean, if she doesn't want it. Don't you talk back to me. I wasn't talking back. I was just giving my opinion. You know how things work around here. You don't get an opinion. Uh, are you guys fighting? Mackenzie, don't interrupt. Go find like a toy to play with. I don't. Ask the maid to bring you one then. The grown-ups are talking. Later that night. Oh, well, that was a tiring day. Time to get some sleep. Okay, Mackenzie, come on. It's time to go to the Nutcracker. What? But it's late and dark outside. I know, but we only get so much time with you, so we need to fit in as much as we can. I'm really tired, though, so maybe I think I should just have a nap first. No time for naps. The Nutcracker is a Christmas classic, and you will sit through it and like it. Not to mention the tickets were a fortune. What is the Nutcracker about? Well, you'll have four hours of the show to figure that out. Four hours? But when the heck am I gonna sleep? I don't want to hear complaining, Mackenzie. It is important for our image that we go as a family and are seen having a good time. So no whining. <sighs> Many hours later. Oh, uh, that was the longest show of my life. I'm exhausted. Wasn't it beautiful, Mackenzie? I really didn't understand it, and I was the only kid there. I hope you realize how lucky you are that you go to see such a fancy show. I'm really, really sleepy. Do you think I can go to bed now? Not yet. We have a charity auction we have to go to before we drop you back off at the adoption center. Do I have to go? Of course you do. Having a child with us will greatly improve our image and make us look like a poster for a perfect family. Oh man, does that mean I have to go too? Of course you big dummy! Approximately 10 hours later. Nobody talk to me, I'm going to bed. Wake me up in 75 million hours. <gasps> whoa, 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 Mackenzie, what are you doing? You have another family to spend the day with. And it's a big day, Christmas Eve. Come on, get up! I'm not going, I can't do this again. I haven't gotten any sleep, my skin is itchy from the dress and I have hives. Well, how do you know what it's going to be like unless you give it a try? Maybe these people will be really nice. Hey there, Mackenzie. Are you ready to go spend Christmas Eve at our house? We have the best day planned to hopefully welcome you into our family. Well, what do you say, Mackenzie? <sighs> okay, let's do it. Okay, Mackenzie, this is it. Make yourself at home, sweetheart. Hey, can I uh, sit on the couch? Yeah, of course. Why else would we have a couch if you couldn't sit on it? That's what I was thinking. Anything you see here, you are free to use. This is your house, too. Wow, thanks. Now, I'm really sorry, Mackenzie, but we can't afford any of the extravagant things the other family was talking about, like Christmas shopping or taking you to see Santa. But that doesn't mean we can't have an amazing Christmas. Yeah, we thought we could stay in by the fire, bake cookies, watch a Christmas movie. Then maybe we could all make each other Christmas presents Because let's face it, homemade presents are way better than store-bought ones That sounds awesome So you're not upset? Why would I be upset? All I want is a family to do things with I don't care if we just stay home in our PJs all day That's all I ever wanted I don't care about the money I learned that money doesn't always make you happy 
comfier. And sometimes cheap cotton dresses are way comfier than fancy ones. I actually got you a new cotton dress if you want to put it on. Yay! Later that night. Wow, I love this movie. Thanks for watching it with me. Are you kidding? The Grinch is a Christmas classic. I can't believe you've never seen it. Well, I've never had parents to watch it with before. I'm going to start on our Christmas dinner. I'm sorry you can't afford anything fancier. But how does pizza and burgers sound to you? Really? This is the best Christmas ever. A few moments later. Wow, you really are the best cook. I haven't eaten anything in days. You poor thing. Well, feel free to have as much as you want. And after dinner, we have a real fun activity planned. Oh, no. It's not the Nutcracker, is it? Oh, no. Even if we had it, we wouldn't spend the money to sit in the theater for four hours. Plus, that's not kid-friendly. I love you guys. Since we couldn't afford to go see Santa at the mall, we thought it would be fun if we all wrote him letters. Oh, my God. I love that idea. I am so in. I wish you could spend the night and we didn't have to bring you back to the adoption center so soon. And I wish we could afford to do more fun things with you. I'm sorry we can't offer more. Are you guys kidding me? This has been the best day ever. I don't care about things. I care about having parents. Aw, Mackenzie, that is so sweet. Now finish up dinner and we'll put a batch of fresh cookies in the oven. Later that same evening. Uh, of course you guys are late. Do you know how rude it is to take up people's time? Actually, they're three minutes early, so don't have a cow. Anyways, now that we're all here, and since it's Christmas Eve, I think it is the perfect time for Mackenzie to decide who her new family's gonna be. Now, don't feel like you have to rush, Mackenzie. Take your time making your decision. Oh, I don't need time. I already made my decision. Okay, then let me just get my checkbook out. Why are you doing that? Well, in case Mackenzie needs a little bit more convincing. No, it's okay. I want you guys to be my new mom and dad. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna be a mom! And I'm gonna be a dad! Um, excuse me, little lady. Do you have any idea how much money we have? Yeah, I know. And you chose these people? Hey, 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 there will be no name calling on Christmas Eve. Yeah, I know how much money you have, but it doesn't matter. Money isn't everything, family is. <laughs> Push, my queen! Push! Ah! Mom, Dad, I'm bored! Quiet, Princess Lydia! Your mom is giving birth! Uh, whatever! Mom, can I borrow your iPad? Uh, not right now, sweetie! Come on, queen! One more push! Ah! It's a beautiful baby girl! My god, another princess! What should we name her? We will name her Mackenzie. Princess Mackenzie, the most beautiful princess in all of Brookhaven. Oh, uh, geez, Louise, Mom and Dad, I'm right here. Oh, sorry, Princess Lydia. You are also the most beautiful princess in all of Brookhaven. Not sure how that works, but whatever. I can't wait to bring our new princess home. A few moments later. Oh, my, look at her cute little feet. And look at her adorable nose. She has your eyes. And your head of hair. She is the most precious thing in the world. Hey, Mom and Dad, look what I can do. Not now, Princess Lydia. We have to take care of your sister. Oh, why would they pay attention to me? Moments later. Oh. later. There! Now you are someone else's problem, and I can go back to being the favorite child for the king and the queen! Darn tootin'! Who's knocking on my door in the dead of night? 
Oh, wow, look at here. Who are you? Someone bring me cake. Here you go, Princess Lydia. This is gross. I want chocolate cake. Sorry, Princess Lydia. Did you just make eye contact with me? No, Princess Lydia. How dare you defy me? You are fired. No, Princess Lydia, please. What happened now? This butler just called me a liar, so I fired him. I'm sorry, my king. Well, that was the last good butler in town. Who are we going to get next? I don't know, but make sure they don't cross me. I'm the princess after all. The only princess. Meanwhile... Mackenzie! Yes, Farmer Todd? I thought I ding dog told you to wash this horse. Oh, I'm sorry, Farmer Todd. I guess I just got distracted. You know we can't be having filthy horses running around the barn. I know, Farmer Todd. It won't happen again. That's all right, Mackenzie. I knew when you were left at my doorstep 10 years ago, you were something special. Thanks, Farmer Todd. You really made me feel part of your family. Likewise. And with that, I must tell you something. I'm leaving forever. What? I hear there's great salmon fishing in Bloxburg, and I reckon a fella could go make himself a pretty penny out there. Well, can I come with you? I'm sorry, Mackenzie, but the salmon hotel I'm staying only has room for one. Well, what am I gonna do? Now, don't you fret. I put in a call to my good friend, King Dave. It appears that ever since the queen left on her search for her long-lost daughter, they've needed an extra your hand around the mansion. So I'll be staying at the royal mansion? Wow, I'll get to meet the king and everything. That's right. You'll need to be on your best behavior. One screw up and you'll be living in this barn. But I already live in this barn. I know, and ain't it awful? The next day... Dad, more Doritos! I'm sorry, Princess Lydia, but it seems you've eaten all the Doritos. <laughs> Lame! So, I've got some good news. We've hired someone to replace all the butlers. Who did you hire? Her name is Mackenzie. She's Farmer Todd's daughter. Well, not actually his daughter. She was left on his doorstep some 10 years ago. Uh-oh. She should be here any minute. I've got to run upstairs to take a kingly bath, but do welcome her when she arrives. Oh, no! This Mackenzie girl must be my long-lost sister, Princess Mackenzie! If my dad... I've got a perfect idea. Wow, the royal mansion. I can't believe I'm actually here. Hi there. You must be Mackenzie. Yes, and you must be Princess Lydia. What can I do for you? Well, the first thing you can do is put this bag over your head. Oh, why? I have this thing about people making eye contact with me. Oh, okay. This is really uncomfortable. Do you defy me? Of course not, Princess Lydia. Good, because one screw up and you're out. What a refreshing and kingly bath. Ah, you must be the new girl, Mackenzie, is it? Yes, your highness. You know, I had a daughter named Mackenzie once, but she ran away at the age of less than one years old. Hey, I was left at a doorstep when I was less than one years old. What a strange and completely unrelated coincidence. Right, why do you have a bag over your head? Because she's hideously scared and I told her not to show her face. Hmm. Seems strange, but whatever my Lydia wants, she gets. So, Mackenzie, your duties around the house will be cleaning, cooking, and taking care of my prized stallion, Horsey McHorseface. Can you handle that? Of course, your highness. Now, let me show you to your living quarters. I hope you don't mind sleeping in the bathroom. Well, it's better than the barn. Oof, that was close. I can't keep my sister around here long. I'm just gonna have to sabotage her and get her fired. The next day... Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Vacuum up the dirt. I'm the greatest cleaner on the earth. Ah, uh, I'm finally done. Very nice work. Thanks, Princess Lydia. I'm so happy the house will be clean by the time the king gets home. Yes, very good. Now go buy me some Doritos. Yes, as you wish, Princess Lydia. She did a good job. Too good of a job. Time to mess this place up. One hour later. Princess Lydia, I have your Doritos. Not my problem. You better get cleaning. I guess so. Okay, first I gotta mop the floors. Now vacuum the carpet. Now I just need to clean the bathroom. Oh my gosh, what is you doing here? Oh, just had a little accident. Oh my 
my gosh. Phew, I did it. I cleaned the whole house. You did? Wow, the house looks spotless. Great job, Mackenzie. Thanks, your highness. Now, why don't you get dinner started and I'll be downstairs watching TV. My plan to get her fired didn't work. But I'm sure she'll be fired if she messes up dinner. Just need to make some adjustments to the stove. And there. She'll be sure to burn our dinner now and the king will have no choice but to fire her. A few moments later. So, what's for dinner, Mackenzie? I'll be making my famous barnyard burgers. I'm lighting up the stove now. <gasps> oh, no. Is everything all right in there? Uh, yup. Just a little bit of extra heat. Are you sure? Because I smell some smoke. Yup, it's all right. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, I see. The fuel nozzle is off. Let me just fix this real quick. Phew, and that was close. Now to cook these burgers. Moments later. Wow, these burgers are delicious. Really? Mine tastes burnt. Nonsense. This is the best burger I've ever eaten. Now, go clean yourself up. I need you to take Horsey McHorse face on a walk. Oh, my sabotage plans haven't worked yet. But I know exactly what to do next. My father loves that stupid horse. And if it runs away, he'll never forgive Mackenzie. <laughs> Lydia, is everything all right? Yep. Because you were just laughing like a maniac. Kinda sounded like a crazy person. Yep, I was just thinking about this funny joke I heard earlier. Okay. This plan is gonna work perfectly. A few moments later. Oh, that's a good horsey. Just one more trip around the block and we can go home. With a simple firing of my gun, I'll spook this horse and it will run away forever. I wonder what Farmer Todd is doing right now. Whoa, Horsey McHorseface, slow down! Horsey, stop! No, Horsey McHorseface, you're headed straight for that house! Oh no, what happened? Where's Horsey McHorseface? Mackenzie, what are you doing out here? Looks like she was taking a nap. Well, if you were taking a nap, then where is Horsey McHorseface? I don't know, I was riding her and then something spooked her and then she ran off. Sounds like you let her run away. Mackenzie, I am very disappointed in you. That horse was my pride and joy. I'm sorry, your highness. Sorry isn't good enough. Yes, I'm afraid my daughter is right. Until you can find my horse, I'm afraid you are not allowed in my house. See you later. Well, I've been down and out before. I've just got to find that horse. Horsey McHorse face, are you out there? Has anyone seen the royal horse? One hour later. Please, I'm just trying to find this horse. Be quiet. Nobody cares. Uh, maybe that mean guy is right. Nobody cares. My parents abandoned me. Father Todd abandoned me. And now this horse abandoned me. <laughs> Wait. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Remember that lullaby your mom used to sing to you? That always makes me feel better. Lullaby and good night, my sweet little princess. You are fair, you are kind, my sweet little princess. Ah, there, that feels better. <gasps> Horsey McHorse face, I knew you'd come back. Where did you learn that song? What, the lullaby? Oh, my mom just used to sing it to me when I was a baby. My wife, the queen, used to sing that song to my daughter, Princess Mackenzie, who ran away 10 years ago. Wait, that's the same time I was abandoned. Take off that paper bag. <gasps> Princess Mackenzie? Daddy? My dear, you don't know how long we've been looking for you. I thought you abandoned me. No, never. Well, if you didn't leave me at Farmer John's doorstep, then who did? Daddy! Lydia, you? You abandoned your little sister at Farmer John's doorstep? How could you? You are giving her more attention than me. Go home right now. We will discuss your punishment later. Ugh, whatever. It's good to have you back. I can't believe we had you sleeping in the bathroom. We can finally bring your mother home too. I can't wait to see her. We've missed you so much. And I've missed you guys. So what are you going to do about Princess Lydia? Oh, we'll think of something. The next day. And here's a birthday cake for every birthday we've missed for the past 10 years. Wow, thanks mom. Um, can I have some cake? Absolutely. 
after you're done vacuuming. Oh, this is so lame. I want Doritos. Uh, I hope my mom has something for dinner. I am so hungry. Hey, mom. Yes, Mackenzie. Food. Um, about that. No food? Oh, okay. Not tonight. I'm hungry too. I'm sorry. Here, drink some water. Uh, it'll fill up your belly. Uh, why are we poor, mom? Um, well, it's tough being a single parent, and I don't any rich or powerful people, so trying to get a good job is hard. I'm trying my best, though. Oh, I wish we weren't poor. Me too, sweetie. Me too. The next day... I cannot wait until school's over, girly. We'll have, like, big girl jobs and then be able to buy, like, everything that we want. Can you said it better myself, girly? You literally have been wearing the same outfit all week. That is nasty. <laughs> yeah, you stink. My mom can't afford to buy me new clothes like your mom can. <laughs> even worse, so you're poor. That sounds like so awful. I would totally hate to be poor. No one cares what you think, Ayla. At least I have real friends that like me for me. You only have friends and do well in everything because your mom is super rich. And she just pays for all of it. Ayla's only friends with you because you're rich. That is so not true. Shut up, Ayla. You wouldn't know anything, peasant. I know more than you, so that means that you know less than nothing. One eternity later. Oh, uh, you're actually the worst human being on the planet, Ashley. At least I'm not a poor loser. Who says you? Too bad I don't care about your opinion. No, it says everyone. Students. People just agree with you to shut you up. No one actually likes you. Well, at least people pretend to like her because they fear her, unlike you. Shut up, Ayla. Enough, everyone, quiet down. Rich student versus poor student in Roblox. I'm sick and tired of the screaming, and the day just started. Hey, why you have to announce it like that, Mr. Teacher Man, sir? Because that's the truth, duh. The competition will start today in 15 minutes. Be ready. A few moments later. This is the decathlon of school, where both contestants will use their minds and bodies if they want to win. And the winner will reign over the other in the record books forever. A little dramatic much? <laughs> why don't you just shut up and get on with the first challenge? That was the worst opening ever. Ever. I'm sorry, Ashley. I won't ramble on like that again. Anyways, the first challenge will be trivia. I will be asking you both questions, and the person with the most correct answers at the end of the challenge will win the first challenge. Moments later. The first question goes to Mackenzie. What does WWW stand for in a web browser? Oh, World Wide Web! Correct! Woohoo! Go, Kenzie! Now, on to Ashley. How long is an Olympic swimming pool in meters? A hundred meters? Ooh, incorrect. Mackenzie leads one to zero after round one. Go, Kenzie! Go, Kenzie! Go, Kenzie! If you don't stop shouting, I will take points away from Mackenzie. Oh, sorry! Mackenzie, what president is on the one dollar bill? Oh, that's George Washington! Correct! Ashley, how many colors are in the rainbow? Uh, Wrong! Mackenzie, true or false? The color orange is named after the fruit. True! Correct! Ashley, true or false? An eggplant is a vegetable. Obviously true! Incorrect! What? Ugh! After round two, Mackenzie is up 3 0. I want a brief break! This is stupid! Five minute break. Five minutes later. Okay, back with the final round. Each question is worth two points for this one with a total of three questions. Mackenzie, which monarch officially made Valentine's Day a holiday in 1537? Uh, I don't know. Incorrect. Ashley, what is another word for feces? Poop. Correct. Woohoo! Go, Ashley, go, Ashley, go. What? How come she is allowed to cheer in on me? One point deducted from Mackenzie for Sky misbehaving. What the Guy! Next question. What is the rarest M&M color? Um, it's gotta be brown. Correct! Ashley, what color are the clouds when it rains? Ray! Correct! Ashley is the smartest girl ever! Mackenzie, which country eats the most chocolate per citizen? Uh, Brookhaven? Wrong! Ashley has the chance to win the first challenge right here and right now. Ashley, what phone company has an apple on their phones? Apple! Correct! And Ashley is the winner! Oh yeah, baby! I told you I was smarter! That was so unfair the last round! Ashley got all the easy questions! That's not fair! Ugh! 
one pathetic soap story later. It's time to use your bodies, and Ashley gets to pick what sport they do and gets to give Mackenzie a disadvantage. What the heck is going on? Why? Because I said so. That's why. Ugh, this whole thing is so unfair and totally rigged. Make it make sense. This is so unfair. I'm giving you a warning, Sky. One more peep out of you, and Mackenzie gets another disadvantage. Ugh, fine. <laughs> today because I know for a fact Mackenzie sucks at that. And Mackenzie has to do it in an outfit I pick out. And she has to do it blindfolded with her eyes closed. What? But that's like impossible. Rules are rules. Moments later. Okay, come on. Now it's just obvious. <laughs> you look like a dweeb. Uh, this is craziness right now. Yeah, you're telling me. Woohoo! Go team, go! Go Ashley! Let's see it, superstar! Woohoo! Yeah, beat this! There is no way Mackenzie is beating this with a blindfold. You know that I am right here, right? <laughs> Good luck beating that, dweeb. <laughs> Yours is gonna suck a bit, Ashley. Don't worry, girlies. You got this. All right, the blindfold's going on. Woohoo! Give me a W. Give me an I. Give me an N. <laughs> oh, ouch! Whoa! I can't see anything! Why is there walls everywhere? What the heck is going on? All right, now whenever you're ready. Kayla, make sure you're recording this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> stop, stop! I've seen enough. The second challenge is awarded to Ashley. What? This is so unfair. I want to pick the next challenge so it's fair. Sure, what do you pick? I want to race. I'm tired from my routine. I actually did something. That is unfair. I need a break. Oh, yes. Good point, Ashley. Two hours later. It won't be a regular foot race. Both contestants are gonna race to the lake, swim halfway, then swim back across and run here. Oh, and Ashley gets a five minute head start. What? Are you serious? This is rigged and unfair. Shut up. You don't know anything. Wait until I got my hands on you. Sky, you need to leave. No ifs, ands, or buts. And if you don't, Mackenzie will lose automatically. Uh, good luck, girlie. All right, Ashley, you can go first. Five minutes later. Okay, Mackenzie, you can finally start. I can do this. I cannot give up. Come on, Mackenzie. Look at that. You're already catching up to her. Moments later. <laughs> Looks like you're too slow, loser. Looks like I'm up three to nothing, which basically means it's impossible for you to win now, dweeb. Not just yet. The last two challenges are worth the most points. So if Mackenzie can manage to win both of them, then she can definitely win the competition. Oh, yeah. You got me pumped up. I'm definitely coming for the win now. You got nothing on me. Good to know. We'll meet in the classroom in exactly one hour. One hour later. The fourth challenge is a little more tricky than the other ones and will require a different kind of skill that cannot be taught. It's the first to sell the house wins. My house is the only tree fort house in all of Brookhaven. All right, time starts now. Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. A few moments later. Mom, mother! Yes, Ashley? I need you to phone Ronald Stump right now. I'm busy. What? What do you mean? This is really important, you know. I don't have time for a little thing right now. I'm busy making money so I can afford giving all the teachers and kids money to make you the coolest person ever. Well, I need his number so I can tell him to buy the only tree fort in Brookhaven so I can win this competition. You're gonna have to go and knock on his door. I'm busy right now, Ashley. Oh, whatever. I'll do it myself like I do every single time. Meanwhile. That was so stupid you lost. It should be like 2-1 for you, but now it's 3 nothing. What a joke. Is there even a chance of you winning now? Apparently, if I win the next two challenges, I win it all, but we've got to hurry. Where are we going? Old Man Richard's house. Why there? Because for this challenge, we have to sell the teacher's one-of-a-kind tree fort house. Well, what makes you so sure that he's going to buy it? Well, for one, he's like a very wealthy man. And two, he's been pestering the teachers for years to try and buy it. He wants it for his daughter. She's always wanted it. Okay, stay here. I'm going to go knock. <laughs> Who goes here? My name is Mackenzie, and I'm here to sell you the tree fort house, the one that you've always wanted. Deal. Five minutes later. I have the buyer. Perfect. It took me all these years, but I finally got it like I said I would. Moments later. I'm here to be the only owner of a tree fort house. Now, give me the papers. Too late. I already signed them. Better luck next time. Ah! 
Time for the final challenge, Mackenzie and Ashley. I want the both of you to go home and bring one of your parents' cars here to race. A few moments later. Oh my god, that's gotta be the slowest car in all of Brookhaven. <laughs> Loser. It's not the car that wins races, it's the driver. <laughs> Cute. You must both race around the entire city and first to get back here wins. On your marks, get set, go! Come on, Kenzie, you can do this. Don't listen to what the haters have to say about this. You can do this. I love how she thinks she's going to win this one. I'm, like, barely trying. I'm going, like, half the speed it feels like. See? I knew it. It's not the car. It's the driver that wins races. Uh, not if I have anything to say about it. Hey, that's cheating. Ugh, well, the one thing good about poor cars is that they're heavier and stronger. Hey, you're not winning. Not on my watch, loser. Oh, yeah? Well, take this. A few moments later. Whoa, this is amazing. Winning feels way sweeter now. Mackenzie cheated. She drove right into my car. If Ashley is saying that, then it must be true. I have no choice but to automatically award this challenge to Ashley, which means she is the winner. What? That literally makes zero sense. It sucks to suck, doesn't it, Sky? It looks like I'm leaving the winner and you're going home a loser. Like always and forever. Ta-ta, loser. So unfair, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Why did you give her all the advantages? That literally made no sense. That's how the real world works, sadly. You can't simply be better anymore. You have to be so much better that nothing can stop you. Not even disadvantages. Uh, can I look yet? Not yet, Holly. This is a big birthday surprise. Well, this is my first birthday that I have my license, so it better be a six-figure birthday present. It's not about the price, Holly. It's about the thought. Dad, seriously, everyone knows that gifts under $1,000 don't even count. And if you can't brag about it, what's the point of even having it? Besides, it's not like having a car is for driving. It's to show off to other people how much money you have. Okay, okay, birthday girl. You can take the blindfold off now. Surprise! We got you a brand new Ferrari! Oh, I wanted a pink one. I thought I told you guys to get me the pink one. Oh, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to pass on this one. Um, how about a thank you? I'm sorry, but why would I say thank you? Because we just got you a beautiful, very expensive new car! Well, yeah, but you're, like, supposed to. I mean, it's technically my money anyways. How do you figure that? Well, think about it. Someday I'm gonna inherit all your millions of dollars. So really, the money's mine, even if I don't have it now. How are you so sure all of our money is yours? Well, why wouldn't it be? I mean, you guys owe me. You guys work so hard that I don't have to work a day in my life. That's my goal, to never work. Now, are you guys gonna give me the keys to my new car or what? Here, Holly. Here are the keys. Finally, I need to go drive this all over Brookhaven to rub it in everyone else's face. If it didn't happen on inside, it didn't happen at all, right? <laughs> Be careful! Moments later. Woohoo! Get out of my way! Excuse me? Are you talking to me? Yes, young lady. I am talking to you. Don't you speak to me that way. Don't you know who I am? No, but I'm a cop, and I can tell you that you're parking in a tow zone, and you need to move. It's fine. I literally park here all the time when I go shopping. And then I don't have to drive around looking for a parking space like a loser. If you don't move the car, you're going to get towed, and you'll have to pay an expensive ticket. That's fine. I mean, tow it if you want. My daddy will just pay for it. It's no big deal. The car's under his name anyway, so it's not like I'll get in trouble. Now, are you done? You've wasted enough of my time. 20 minutes later. Ah, oh, dumb cop. I can't believe he towed my car. Such an inconvenience. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to call Daddy to fix everything. Dad, yeah, my car got towed in front of a store. I'm gonna need you to pick me up or call me an Uber. But not an Uber X, like the black cars. Oh, and I'm also gonna need you to pay to get my car out of the impound lot. Thanks. Later that night. Hello, Holly. Did you get my car back? Yes, I did. That ticket cost me a fortune. That's okay. You have it. That is not the point, Holly. Can you please listen to me? Why? But the Kardashians are on. Listen, if this selfish behavior doesn't change, we're gonna have a problem here. Don't be silly, Dad. We have no problems. Everything is great. No, it's not. You're becoming a little too entitled, and I don't like it. If your attitude doesn't get any better, things are gonna be different around here. Oh yeah, different how? If your attitude doesn't improve, your mother and I are gonna cut you off. Yeah, sure. I'm serious, Holly. Mm-hmm. The following day. Um, hello, excuse me, but is anyone actually working in this store? I've been standing here for like three minutes and no one has helped me. I am so sorry, miss. We are 
super short-staffed right now. That's not my problem. Now, I need two of those sweaters in black. I'm sorry, but whatever we have out is all we have. Ugh, can you, like, dig through the boxes in the back? I'm really sorry. We don't get deliveries till next week. I don't have any boxes in the back. Don't you know that the customer is always right? Fine, whatever. I'll just take a diamond necklace and I'll be done. We don't have any real diamonds, only fake ones made of crystals. Ew, what do I look poor to you? Well, I try not to judge someone based on their appearance. Why not? That's all I do. Ugh, fine. If you can't give me real diamonds, just at least ring me up for these pairs of heels. Okay, is that gonna be cash or card? Card. I stole my dad's credit card this morning. You know, stealing isn't really right. You should never take anything that doesn't belong to you. Who are you, my life coach? Just ring up the shoes and mind your own business. Right, so sorry, ma'am. You should be. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Moments later. Ugh, this line is taking forever. Do these people not know good customer service? Next in line. Finally, it's about time. I have places to be. And I don't have time to stand all day in your dumb line. I'm sorry, uh, what can I get you? Can I have a sugar-free venti guava? of a black lemonade with light ice shaken in a Trenta cup. I'm uh, so sorry. I don't think we have that on the menu. Um, why does it matter? I just like made it up myself. So just go ahead and make it like they always do. Okay, um, I've never heard of that before. So let me try and figure out what that is. And if it's not right, I'll be sending it back. Okay, that is gonna be $10. $10 for a drink? Uh, I don't think so. I'm sorry, but you made something up that we don't have on the menu. So I have to charge you for all the extra. Fine. Ugh, you are so lucky that I'm rich. Here's my credit card, but don't add a tip. Thank you. Uh, your drink will be down at the other end. Moments later. Hey, TikTok. It's me, Holly the Rich Brad. So for my birthday, whoa! Ugh, this is just gonna be such an inconvenience. Hi, Daddy. I crashed my car. Can you send me a ride to come get me? Also, I spilled my Starbucks in the crash, so you're gonna have to take me back there to get another one. Oh, and don't take too long, because my favorite show is on tonight. Later that same evening. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. That was the insurance company, Holly. The car is totaled. They're gonna have to sell it for parts. Oh, well. Uh, how long until the new car's here? Oh, well? Holly, you just totaled a $200,000 car. So? It's not like you don't have the money. You're gonna get me a new one anyway, so it's like no big deal. It is a big deal. Really, though? How long do you expect me to go without a car? I'm at least gonna need a rental because I don't wanna be seen driving around with you and your Toyota. It's embarrassing, Dad. No, you're not getting a rental or my car or a new car. Will you get me the right color this time, though? I told you and Mom that I wanted the pink one. Are you purposely not listening to me? Why? I said I am not buying you another car. Why? Why not? I told you, Dad, that the money eventually will be mine someday. So, if you think about it, you're just giving me my inheritance a little early. I told you, Holly, that things were going to change around here if your attitude didn't improve. Oh, I, like, totally thought you were bluffing about that. Well, you're gonna see now that I wasn't because you're cut off. Wait, what? I tried to warn you. You're cut off, Holly. What exactly does that mean? Well, it means no more money, no credit cards, no more stealing my credit cards, and no car. Also, I will be changing my inheritance so you get nothing. For now on, you're gonna have to pay for yourself and make your own money. But, but, but... It'll be good for you to finally see what a hard day's work feels like. Oh, and you'll have to cover the expense of the accident. I only think it's fair because it was your accident and I warned you not to be reckless. But without you and Mom, I don't have any money. How am I supposed to pay for that? I'm so glad you asked because I think it's time you get a job and pay for it yourself. Me? A job? Oh my gosh, call 911. I think I'm dying. I can't breathe. So tomorrow morning, you go out and start dropping off job applications. But without a car, how am I supposed to get there? You can walk or you can take the bus. I'll even pay for the bus pass. No, I'm poor. The following day. Oh no, it's you again. I'm sorry. I don't know if I have all the ingredients to make that fancy drink today. No, it's okay. I'm not here for a drink. Are you here to complain? Because my manager is not here and doesn't like to hear complaints from people that don't tip. No, I'm actually here to see if you guys are hiring. Why would you need to work here? I thought you were rich. I was rich, but then my parents cut me off, so now I'm poor. So no more $10 drinks? Probably no more fancy drinks at all. Wow, that sucks. So you 
you guys hiring? We are, but I don't know if you'd be a good fit. Look, I'm sorry that I was rude to you before, but I really, really need this job. I see now that I never should have talked down to you. I thought that having money would make me better than everyone else, but I see that that's not true anymore, and I'm sorry. Wow, it was really cool for you to apologize. Yeah, I'm sure if I could find a spot for you on the team, welcome aboard. 20 minutes later. later. Hey, Holly, how was your first day? Tiring. Every muscle in my body hurts. Serving people is actually a lot harder than I thought. I told you. And people are so mean. Did I really used to sound like that when I came in here? Even worse. Wow, I'm really sorry. Oh, and before I forget, here's your first check. Huh? I worked all day and this is all I made? Yup, welcome to the real world, sister. This is minimum wage here in Brookhaven. But how am I ever gonna up. You have now joined the workforce. Get used to it. Wow, I really am gonna be poor forever. Later that night. Hey, Holly, how was work? Exhausting. I had no idea that waiting on customers took that kind of energy. And some threw coffee at me through the drive through Rough day. Now I guess you see how hard it is to earn money. Oh, yeah. So, now that you have your own income, are you gonna go out and spend it all on clothes? You know, actually, I was thinking, and I don't think I'm gonna spend this money. Really? Yeah, I decided I'm gonna start saving up all the money I earned and save it for my own inheritance. Just because I won't be getting it from you and mom doesn't mean I shouldn't work hard to give it to myself. Wow, I am really proud of you, Holly. Thanks, it feels great to be making my own money, even though I'm technically poor. <laughs> Why is nothing ever perfect? Meg, get in here at once. Yes, Holly, how can I be of service? I'm stressed out and don't have any of my regular outfits. And no smoothie has been made. Do my laundry at once. No one wants to do your laundry because it stinks so bad, you stinky, stinky girl. Moments later. Ugh, stupid school. Hello, Master Holly. Shut it, Charles. I don't want to hear it. Hey, buddy. What do you want? Leave me alone. What's wrong? I don't want to talk about it, so leave me alone. Ouch, are you sure? Yes. Have a good day at school. I definitely won't, but whatever. Charles! A few moments later. Are you excited for school today? <laughs> Interesting. Usually you say something rude to me. Is uh, everything okay? Shut up. How does that sound? Weirdly better. Meanwhile. Hey, uh, is there anything left to eat, Mom? I'm so sorry, honey, but we don't have anything. I haven't had any money to go buy groceries yet. Just hang in tight, though, and we'll get some food soon. It's okay, Mom. I'm not mad. I'm just really hungry. The last people at school, I think I'm liked enough to get a couple of snacks. That's great, sweetie. I'm glad. How's the fit, though? It's definitely rocking. Where'd you get it? I thrifted it. Darn, you look cool, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. I'll see you later today. Love you. I love you, too, sweetie. And don't forget, make fun of the rich girl. Her daddy's the reason we're so poor. A rich and popular versus poor popular girl in Roblox. Everyone is gonna love me even more by the end of this. You got it, Mom. Moments later. Ah, uh, why is life so beautiful and amazing? Hey, Brady, what's up, home girl? Just on my way to school. Let's crack a lacking with you, home slice. Just moving and grooving my way to the coffee shop. People gotta get their daily dose of Starbucks. I totally feel you, bro. Have a good shift. Have a great day, girl. Brady, I knew it was you. How's my favorite Brookhaven High student doing? Just enjoying life. How's the mayor life treating ya? Pretty stressful, actually. There's just so much work that needs to be done. Well, it sounds like you gotta get on with it. Get crack a lacking, Mr. Mayor. See you around, kiddo. Meanwhile. Hey, no one is jock friend. You two look good today. I mean, not that you guys don't always look good. Do you, uh, hear something? Not really, bro. I think it's just the wind. Weird, because I thought I heard something annoying, too. Ah, oh, hey, girl, 
else you want to hang out at lunch today? Look at that, sis. She finally wants to hang out with us. Yeah, when she has nobody left. So typical. We'll pass. Yeah, no thank you. We wanted to be friends with you, but as I recall you said, we were nerdy losers who you'd never want to be friends with. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'll do anything. Please forgive me. It's a little late for that. Yeah, especially since you don't actually want to be our friend. You just have no other options. We're definitely gonna pass. Moments later. <laughs> a loser. She's so unpopular. Right? If I had all that money, I'd be so popular. I'd be the rich popular girl, not the rich unpopular girl. <laughs> that literally doesn't even make any sense. How on earth could someone be literally so lame with all that money? It actually doesn't make any sense. Agreed. A few moments later. Brady, the coolest girl in town. How's it shaking? Hey, Noah. You're like the most beautiful girl in the world. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. Hey, bro, stop being weird. Shut up. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. But I better get going now, guys. See ya. Idiot. Why are you always going to act like that? She's just so cool and beautiful. That's why. Meanwhile. My dad just bought a Lambo. Do you want to take a ride in it later? It is so bougie. And one of a kind, too. That does sound pretty bougie. Can your dad pay for a photographer to come by so he can do a little photo shoot? Oh, yeah, totally. I can actually get one booked right now. She used to work for Vogue. That is so fab. You're like the coolest human ever. And you're so pretty. Oh, hey, Ayla. Hi. Important cheer meeting. Shut up, Ayla. I know that. Jeez, you are so stupid. See you later, Ashley and Ayla. Can't wait for later. Moments later. Wait, Ashley, what's happening later? Oh, nothing. Just like a photo shoot. Ew, first of all, why on earth would you do a photo shoot with Holly? And why would you even want to be seen with her at school? You must be crazy. You're actually such a twerp, Ayla. Not because I want to, but because she's rich and she'll buy me things if I do. Ugh. Oh, that makes more sense. So you're using her for her parents' money. Why does everyone hate me? People are the worst. I've got to do something so they think I'm cool. Five minutes later. Nice clothes. <laughs> Thank you. Aren't they the best? I was being sarcastic. They're hand-me-downs and super gross and old. I'm actually making fun of you. Okay, uh, so funny. <laughs> Didn't you know thrifting is like the new vibe and for cool people? Being environmentally friendly and reusing is cool. Constantly buying new outfits from high-end fashion brands that don't care about the environment is not cool. That was like so 2008. The world has changed and so should you. <laughs> You're so right, Brady. We should totally go thrifting after school. Ouch, I'm not even a teenager and I know she burned you pretty bad. It's actually called Roasted. Thank you, Brady. You're like actually the best. No props. You're like the best too. Moments later. Don't understand why nobody likes me. This is so unfair. How is it that the poor girl is like so popular and I'm the unpopular person with all the money? It literally makes no sense. This sucks. I wish I knew why. <gasps> Wait a minute. It's because everyone's jealous of all the money that I have. I know just the thing that will fix this. Five minutes later. Hello, students of Brookhaven High. This is Holly, the richest and coolest person in all of Brookhaven High. And I have a very special announcement to make. I will pay people to be my friend and I will pay lots and lots of money. But you have to stop being friends with Brady. And if you do this, then you'll be super rich and be able to buy whatever you want. <laughs> Someone clearly needs to tell her you can't buy popularity. That's like so 2000s. Yeah, what a loser. <laughs> oh my, that's actually so sad. I would hate to be her, that's for sure. No amount of money in the world can make having her life appealing. I should probably do something, but since I'm the cool teacher, I'm just gonna chill. Ew, why is she even speaking right now? Let's just turn the music up louder so we don't have to hear her. Good idea. Wait, then we'll completely miss what she has to say, and then we'll be out of the inside joke. Ugh, you dumb dumb. Ouch, that's pretty rough. I would honestly be so down for the money, but Brady is actually the nicest human ever. I love her so much. Same, I'm with you. Maybe we just lie and get the money anyways? Moments later. <laughs> They all suck. Hello? Tell Charles to come pick me up at once. What's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. He's on his way right now. Well, tell him to hurry. Hey, there's the loser that wants to pay people money to be your friend. <laughs> loser. <laughs> Later that night. I wish I could just be popular. Just for one. Even if it meant being poor. Then at least I could have friends 
to do things with. Here is your bedtime supply. Oh, I'm so sorry, Master Holly. I didn't mean to interrupt you while you cry. It's fine, Charles. Kindness? I like this new you, Holly. That's for sure. Don't make me start screaming and yelling at you, Charles. Right. I'm very sorry, Master Holly. Here is your late night supplement water. Let me know if you need anything else. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe. Huh? What the heck? Where am I? Hey, Brady, sweetie, how'd you sleep? Brady? What do you mean, Brady, huh? I mean, that is your name, right? Yeah, that's me, totally. What the heck? I'm still me, but she thinks I'm Brady. This is so crazy, but wait a minute. I must be popular now. I gotta get to school ASAP. Woohoo! Moments later. Hey, how's it going? So amazing. I love it. Well, I love you. What the heck, bro? You're so weird. See you guys around. Whoa, this is actually craziness right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you girls there. Oh, no, we're so sorry. We didn't mean to run into you. And I'm so sorry, you imbecile. I'm so sorry for bumping into you. No, really, it's totally okay. Anyways, what you did yesterday was, like, so cool. And we totally want you to join our group. Oh, my God. I would love to. A few moments later. Being popular is literally the greatest thing in the whole wide world. I love it. Oh, why don't you just shut up and go home, Holly? <laughs> no one likes you. <laughs> Later that night. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean for you to see me like this. Talk to me. What's going on? Don't worry, it's nothing. I promise. Please, you've got to tell me. We're going to lose our home. We have no money left and no food to eat either. They're coming to take our house away tomorrow. It's our last night here and we can't do anything about it. It's okay, Mom. I'll fix this. How? <laughs> Don't worry. Just trust me. Moments later. Please, whatever is up in the sky that changed our lives. Please, just change our lives back so I can make a deal with Brady and fix everything. Please, please, I'm begging you. The next day. <gasps> it worked. Good morning, Master Holly. How can I? Can't talk now, Charles. Gotta go. Moments later. Brady! What are you doing here? It's kind of a bad time right now. I know, and I'm here to fix it. How? And wait, how do you know? It doesn't matter. I'll pay you and your mom all the money that you guys need so that you don't have to be homeless. If you promise to help me make friends and be friends with me. And my dad will get your mom a job. Deal. <laughs>